It's um, from Emanuela. Okay. <laughs> Emanuela is getting married. It's her invitation. Really? See for yourself. Awesome. Aww. Oh, I love this detail. Marriage is a beautiful born named by God. It is so tidy and What? Me? Rubbish. What's that? This one is just wasting her time. Just look at this. Oh, she wants you to be her maid of honor. She should better think twice, because that's nonsense. He's going to be her maid of honor. Is this not her trying to insult me? I don't understand. Why will you understand? No, you never get to understand things like this. Sure, you know. Once it's about things like this, you don't understand. Ellen. Emanuela is your cousin and your friend. A very good friend at that. If she wants you to be around, which is why I think she's asking you to be her maid of honor, I absolutely think it's fine. Listen, if she wants me to attend her wedding, that's fine by me. But asking me to be her maid of honor doesn't work for me. How can she even expect that of me? <laughs> you do have your reasons, don't you? Jen, I am 40 plus. How old is Emanuela? She's 30. Can you not see the difference? Can't you see the gap? Ellen, Emanuela is your cousin and your blood. There is nothing wrong in your sister asking you to be her maid of honor. I mean, absolutely nothing. Why are you making an issue out of nothing? Jane, everything is wrong with Emanuela's request. How can she even expect that of me? The last wedding we attended, we were in the train together. And I made it clear to her. I pointed it out that that was the last wedding I was ever going to be in the train. And she knew I was serious. Why would she come asking for this? That's rubbish. <sighs> If you ask me, I don't see it that way. Why would you see it that way? I don't see it that way is that I don't see it that way. You're not going to force me to see things from your own side of the coin. Uh -uh. You will not see things from my own side of the coin. Why will you see it that way? I'm not asking you, so no need to see it that way. Well, you were, and I have to respond. I don't see it that way, girl. Uh -uh. See, you next see my ma just they tell you now, so you hear me. As you see me elsewhere, me and you know the me for anything. Me, me, now they talk, see, see, I don't they drop NG before you even think of saying you won't call they do mechanic work. As you see me for years, I get back account too. I get back account. You get BVN. So if somebody like me, Richard, there, they talk. As far as I got not day this workshop, you suppose no saying I mean they control every, every. So if I they talk, you suppose keep your mouth shut. Wait, I don't understand. What do you, what do you come bring this one now? So make, if you don't talk, make I not talk. Unto Jesus. No, nine Jesus. What is your problem? Do you know eh, the problem you have is you only think of today. You don't think about your future. You don't think about tomorrow. You don't know what tomorrow will look like. So let me tell you, as I did like this now, eh, I better pass you where well. <laughs> next thing you get future. No. Now you own the use. Okay. So next thing you know say you get future. Now you get mine. Can't money go rent us for where they no get lights. How that one yes, you? you get future, you know they use Android phone. You know get radio, you know get TV. And you say you get future. Anyway, I know they I'm not gonna blame you because not be everybody for this life will get future. So your own no shock me. So but if I they talk, you're not supposed to the open mouth, they talk. You don't understand? Yeah. You get future and on a red cover, you know if you buy. Musa when you die. If to say family people no forget this thing for you now, I will wonder what you for the year. And you get future. 
No, na your own. I won't go. I won't bring your own. Dip to your girl. See your life now. See your bad hair. Dip to your girl. And I see you, Nashibi. You're just here. You're just here parading yourself like as if you're a mechanic. Whereas you're just a yahoo yahoo. Jobless one. Whenever even see, see, you're just deceiving yourself. See, you should be hiding yourself in shame if I were you. <laughs> That's where they advise me. It's too funny, I beg. You go to hide yourself for shame. But when I go to bring chicken corn, you know they hide your shame. Your mouth will be like a tube. You know they hide until they follow me in the chop. Eh? They hide yourself in shame. You feel saying I will not, will not get sense, now they do yahoo. Eh? You feel saying I will not get sense, now they do yahoo. Now people will get brain, now they do yahoo. People will get brain because it's not easy to guide Percy for Nigeria. It's not easy at all. You know, you know the sweater they use. How many difference? How much? 500,000 naira. This one will just If I get like two now, they carry two motor for hand, they work out. Now, so, I see him now. See you, see your guy. You the whole phone of where, where they equivalent to car. You know, get tired. You know, get tired. See, by uh, I can never envy you. You are just here. Uh, just, just, just imagine what you they talk. You they do, you they do, uh, Nigerian one, Luca, when your mates are going international. Very soon, see you. Your two hands go turn to one. Now jail you go enter. As I see you like this, huh? As I see, you, I don't see, I don't see your future. I don't see your, your with spiritual. I don't see you. Now inside jail you go end. Very soon. Bros, leave that thing. You they jealous me. Leave me last. See, see, make I tell you. You not go fear envy me because you don't reach your menopause age. I swear, bet me. You not go get freedom for yet. Now here you go there. I go don't make him. Don't forget, say I don't make him safe. You go still there. They, they repair this thing. Eh? Hey, wait, 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 wait. I be joking with my answer. Let's go. Hello, baby. Baby, kill you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just resumed duty. You know, the, the Indian man working on duty today is a bit ill. So they just, uh, you know, as the first uh, uh, contractor. No, it's okay. She can go ahead and mock me for all I care. It's fine. Ellen, Emanuela is not mocking you. I feel she's just a bit too nervous about this marriage thing. And she meets you close by. Jay. Why do I feel like you all are in this together? In what? I feel like this is a setup. Because the way you're defending Emanuela, it looks like you guys are trying to set me up. I, are you guys trying to set me up? Ellen, Emanuela is your cousin. She came to you asking for your permission to get married, and you were obliged. Now she wants you to come finish up what you started. Why are you suddenly backing up? She should find someone else to be her maid of honor because I will not do her that honor. I won't. In fact, I'm not attending that with you. No, no, no. Just hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait. What exactly are you going to be busy doing on that day that you would not attend your cousin's wedding? Your first cousin. Not just any kind of cousin. It's Emanuela we're talking about here. I will be busy with work. And I mean it. Ellen, I have always told you that she who respects the great paves way for her own greatness. Listen, girl, you can't force the sun to rise, right? Your day shall come. I will be busy, period. I have tried to live a very clean and upright life. I'm not a perfect person, yes, but I've lived a life that my mother and grandmother inculcated in me, which is the upright life. <sighs> While I was growing up, I tried all my best to stay away from everything immoral. I mean, I practically lived a 
perfect life. Why I am still not married at 40 is something that baffles me. Now I am 41, soon to be 42. What exactly do you want from me? Go straight to the point. Nothing. Sorry. I mean, you're a very beautiful girl and I think I love you. In short, I love you. And you're the most beautiful girl in our school. Really? Yes, we are. Obina, how old are you? I'm 16. You're 16, right? Yeah. Mr. Romeo, so where is all this comparison coming from? I love you, that's all. Obina, you are still a small boy and know nothing about beauty, love and friendship. I suppose you go home to your parents. I try to walk away from it. I don't understand. As you can see, I'm going home to meet my people. Is there any problem with that? I'm not supposed to say yes or no to you. Oh, you want the truth? Well, the answer is no. Are you okay? Ellie, Ellie, you can't say no to me now. You can't say no. Obina, see, the next time you stop me for this rubbish, I promise I'm going to report it to the principal. Get lost. Ellie, you have not seen the last of me. Just trust me. I was 17 then. And now, I'm 41. Still searching. Whilst Faith and Gladys are all married with kids. Gladys and her family resides in America while Faith and her family lives in Abuja. Now Joycey of yesterday will be getting married in no distant time. But I am stuck here, unmarried. Not even a man to call my own. Even when I was the most decent back then. I've had boyfriends. But none of them ever showed interest in marriage. Is either they are after my body. Or they are after my money or even both. Will Richard finally be the one? Why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? Oh, there you are, sweetheart. Yes, I'm here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm being busy, honestly. Thank you. Ah. You're welcome. So how was your day? Very well. Went well. And yes? I had a very hectic day. Like my day was... Oh, babe. It was hectic. I'm so sorry. I can see the stress waiting all over your face. I'm gonna you be see, okay. That's why I asked you to come so we can chill together. Um, just to say us, please. Waiter! Yeah, please come. <laughs> Hello, Ma. Hello, my darling. How are you? Waiter, please take this beautiful lady's demand here and make it quick. Uh, what do you care for, Ma? Can I get a bottle of soda, please? Okay, is that all? Yes, that's all. No, no, that's not all. Hold on. Babe, come on. I'm okay with what you have here. The soda would just be fine to dilute it a bit. Okay? Sweetheart. You don't have to do it. You know how my stomach is with eating it out. You know I don't want to eat out. Can we do this, please? Just this once. Just this once. Um, waiter, please, you can. A soda, please. Oh. Okay. Yeah, make it quick. So how did your day go today with the MD? How did the meeting go? Oh, well, it went well. I met with the man. Uh, he was asking for 15%. Before he could append his signature on the contract. 15%? Yeah. 
Honestly, my love. And what is that? This country is so corrupt. Everywhere you turn, the corruption radiates. Sweetheart, you can say that again. I mean, you needed to see how I was begging this man. Look, I pleaded with this. I almost knelt down. I almost shed tears in front of him. Ah. But he stood on his ground, either 15% or no contract deal sign. So I, at some point, I was lost with words. I, I don't know what to do right now. What's your plan? What, how are you going to go about this now? Sweetheart, if you ask me, I don't know. But the truth is, I need this contract. I, I need this contract. I don't want this contract to slip off my hands. At least so that there will be free flow of cash. So if you need it, you go for it. You know I'm not a party to kickbacks. Mm -mm. If you need something, go for it and never stop until you get it. Yeah, I know you're right. I, I know, but... Um... Oh, you're here. Anything else? No, that'll be all. Thank you. You know, I... Can I have some eyes? Yeah, sure. So, you see, my dear, uh, you're right with what you said earlier before now. But, you know, the problem here is money. Yeah. I mean, I should be needing some money to sort the director and uh, some of the conglomerates. You know, this is Nigeria. Like how much money are we looking at? Come on baby, it's huge. It's really huge. Um, although for now I have 5 million naira, but if I can lay my hands on 10 million, it would be a go-go for me. 10 million naira, you said? <laughs> okay, so how about I get you a loan from my bank and then the moment you get paid part of the money for the contract, you can pay up the loan. Is that okay for you? Come on, you must be joking. I mean, you shouldn't be doing that. It will be way discomforting for you. You know, baby, you, you, you know, no, no. This no is problem. an interest-free loan. All you need to do is just pay up the money once you get payment for the contract. That way, it just takes off the entire burden from you. Seriously, this is tempting. I could have said I would Cheers. think about... To your new contract. Come on. You have, you have your own way of amazing me. I always amaze Because I'm amazing. <laughs> Seriously? Uh -huh. 10 million naira. Just keep to your own part of the bargain. Pay up the loan once you get the money. Babe, see, as soon as I'm being disposed with this money, I'll pay it up. I will even add more interest to it. So that you see why I love you. I, sometimes I want to be a musician, so I will sing for you in the morning, don't, afternoon, and night. Don't do that now. Oh. Who else would come? I want Dad to be the one to come. I have told you repeatedly that your father doesn't care about you. Now I am practically drumming it into your head that he does not care about you and I couldn't really be bothered about that. Alright? Mom, are you wishing you school? Change of school? Why? Is anyone bullying you? Your teachers? No, Mom. So why do you want to have a change of school? My classmate, during the time of PTA meeting, they all come with their dad and mom. But me, I have never gone to that school with my dad. And it keeps me worried. One of my classmates has even asked me of my father. 
All right. So, the next time any of your classmates should ask you about your father, tell the person your father has slept. But mom... But what? Is there anything that you're lacking in this house? Everything that you have asked me for, haven't I given it to you? I'm asking you, have I not given it to you? Yes, ma'am. Go inside. This discussion is over. So go inside. Your dad even know you school you at. All right, they get ready now. You're about to pop the ball. Here we go. Oh, come on, babe. Come on. Just, just look at the way you spot that ball. That's enough for today. I'm tired. Don't say. Are you giving up on me so soon? I'm not giving up on you, Kochi. But we have had enough to now. But today. That's for your troubles. <clears throat> Maybe I should call my dad to come play with me. Are you sure he's still around? Uh, no. I have to go and check. Take your chances. I'll be here. Oh, oh don't be like that now. Mm. <laughs> I'll be right back. That's okay. Yes, ma'am. I'm tired. What did you say? I said I'm tired. <laughs> You're tired. What did you do? Really? Yes, of course. You did nothing, babe. Besides, you couldn't even poke a ball. Is that what you're going to say to me right now? Come on, sweetheart. Trust me, do you know I was actually watching you to see how professional you can be? in that game. But trust me, it was a total turn off. Listen, I have a career that I'm mastering. I'm not into games. Aww. You can say that again, my banker. Stop! <laughs> trust me, if it were to be in school days, I would say I doff my cap for you, Miss Banker. <laughs> what is that? Don't do that. Uh, I'm not interested in games that don't pay my bills. Really? So what do I call that? A workaholic, right? Babe, I haven't forgotten it took me plenty of hours to convince you to follow me there. Exactly. Let's even get to talk about that now. Oh, okay. I don't like the exposure that you're giving me. I'm not into games. It's not my thing. I don't like it. There she goes again. Come on, sweetheart. You're a banker. Yes, I know. But you need these exercises. You know, it's not easy for you to sit all day. I mean, you would just sit in a position and be counting money. Do you know the strength that goes out of you? Still, I do not like it and you need to stop. Honey, I love you. You know it. You are my woman in whom I'm well pleased. Look, let me break it down. Uh, I love you to the moon and back. I love you above the zone layer and even to the firmament, back to earth. Trust me, seriously, babe, you, you know I hate it. I mean, I hate it each time you complain. Eh? When I try to make little effort just to put a smile on your face, you keep complaining. Okay, fine. Richard is a peaceful being. How about you go upstairs and you have your bath? No, no, no. How about we go upstairs and we have our bath together? What? What is what? I'm not going anywhere. Come here, oh, baby. Stop, don't do that. Come on, upstairs, here we go. Oh, do you uh, mind my uh, Lamborghini? Copy my Lamborghini. Stop it already, I'm no. not going anywhere. I'm uh, not going anywhere. Stop it. You're just a fallen angel. I love you, baby. Leave me alone. I'm not going anywhere. The break, I need to Come rest. On, baby. Are you refusing me now? I'm not refusing you, I'm tired. Maybe we've had two rounds in less than 30 minutes and you're still asking for another one. Come on, baby. This is just this is just me. The what if I'm spending the night? That is a motor ratata, baby. Give me baby, no ratata now first. Wait. I'm tired. 
I mean, I'm tired. I'm serious. Okay, fine. You know what? Let, let me just take it from you. No, back. no. Oh, no, baby. I'm tired. It's okay, fine. Please. <sighs> <sighs> Trust me, baby, you're so lazy, honestly. I'm not the one who's lazy and tired. Two rounds in 30 minutes. Don't oh. kill me. Oh, my phone is ringing. This one, my mother is calling me. It's everything alright. Let's see how I can see why she's calling. Hello, Mama. Good afternoon. Mama, this way you're sounding like this. Is everything okay? What? How? Mama, Mama, hold on. Is Papa dead? Is it that bad? What? 700,000 Naira, Mama. Mama, where do you expect me to get such amount of money from? Mama, I don't have a dime on me now. And just last week, I, I, I executed a contract worth 15 million, but there was nothing left. Oh, Mama, please don't say that. Uh, don't say that. Uh, if you say that, you're scaring me already. You know what, Mama? Just, so, Mama, just hang in there. I'll call you right back, okay? But uh, please, Mama, please. I be, just tell the doctor to continue with their treat. I'll, I'll call you back. What's the problem? What's wrong with your father? Just imagine, they say he fell down from a roof and we're trying to roof someone's house. And now the spinal cord is, is, is gone. What? They, 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 they want to, to undergo a, a spinal cord uh, um, surgery. Can you imagine they're demanding for 700,000 Naira? Where on earth do they expect me to get such amount of money? Will the 700,000 Naira take care of the spinal cord surgery? I wish. I just wish. But no! It's just a deposit. You can imagine what... Oh my god. What are you going to do now? Baby, I don't know. I'm, I'm confused. Should I say I'm frustrated right now? Huh? Just imagine. This man has been through hell for me. And now that he's supposed to be enjoying the fruit of his labor, just imagine death wants to creep in to snatch him away from me. Huh? Just because of, of, of one useless roof. You see the owner of that roof, eh? God will punish that person. That roof will continue to leak. Baby, it's time that you sit up to your responsibilities. You can't keep warning from them. It will make them lesser. I know. I know what that. But, but, but how do you... I'm confused. Huh? What are you confused about? Sweetheart, you know I don't have any money with me. Come on, don't look at me that way. I, I don't have money with me. What are you saying, baby? You just executed a contract worth millions of Naira. What are you saying? Uh, you see, babe, um, look, I really don't know how to say this to you, you know. You, you know what, just just forget about it, never mind. I will, I will just find a way around it. Spill it already. Babe, I don't want to be a burden to you. You see, after settling the directors and some other conglomerate, there was nothing left with me. I, I, I don't know how to say this. I don't know if I could ask for another loan. Maybe if you loan me this money, I will pay with much interest. Maybe when I'm, when I'm totally cleared off with the... Be, not so worry. I will just... Um... Fine. You'll get the transaction receipt before you get home. I just want you to do your bid and take care of your father. Baby, stop. Stop already. Stop what exactly? 
Why me? No, tell me why me? Because I love you. Babe, I love you more, but you see, this is your um, open, mighty heart. It's... God, I just hope I don't break this out of you someday. Amen. Amen. And trust me, the day I do, I pray I don't see the next sunrise. Why did you say that? That's because I love you so much. You see, the, you're the best thing that has ever happened to me. Look, I want to sleep inside of you and then wake up inside of you every blessed day. There you go, say okay. Oh, come on. Of course you know I'm serious. You see, babe, I love you to the moon and back. You know, above the ozone layer and even after the firmament. <laughs> And you know what, my babe? Don't forget I remain your mom too soft in the morning. <laughs> too do in the afternoon. Lale, you too rat. <laughs> I love you, baby. I love you more, baby. Take care of yourself and let me know when you get to the village. Sure, I will. Don't miss me too much, okay? Your father is waiting. Come on. All right, my darling. I like her. be a fool to think I would want to settle down with a lady older than me. She's beautiful and industrious, yeah, but no doubt. But I cannot give it a thought. I mean, all my friends say that I married an older chick for money. Hell no. Let her just do the transfer first. <laughs> I go chop her, chop her money, and she will never see me again. Too soft in the morning, too do in the afternoon, too ratatalale. Ah, uh, here comes the alert, finally. Finally! <laughs> ah, I told you, this is Richard. I'm a too ratatalale. That's what's up. That's what's up. It's a done deal for Richard, man. Say, babe, are you serious? Oh wow, baby, really, you're so wonderful. But well, I've not seen the alert. Not to worry, when I see the alert, I'll let you know, okay? The 700,000 is the deposit for the hospital. Then you can use 300,000 to buy fuel, food, and any other thing that you need, okay? Yeah, baby, you're so wonderful. You see, baby, I love you so much. Look, I feel, I feel like running into it, any of the truck coming my way right now, but. Come on, I don't want you to be a widow at this moment. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you're wonderful. Maybe you're the best woman God ever created. I don't know what I would have done without you. You're sweet. You're sweet in the morning, in the afternoon, and the evening. Thank you so much, my love. Trust me, as soon as I see the alert, I will let you know. It's okay. Just get home, make one or two things, and then move to the village immediately. Nothing must happen to your father. Yeah, yeah, I know, baby, I know, I know, and trust me, my dad will be so proud to see that our daughter-in-law is doing everything possible for him to get back to his feet. Hey, babe, come on, come on, come on, don't give me that voice, huh? Come on, just, let's say, three, four days, I'll be back. I know you're going to miss me, right? Don't worry, don't worry. When I come in, I will up in your Bugatti, your Lamborghini, and I'll give you hot, hot right on bed, huh? <laughs> All right, baby, I love you so much. Uh, you do take care of yourself, man. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Richard on the top of the deal, man. How far are you today? I mean, the runner. <laughs> Baboshi. I'm going to fear anybody with the car, Richard. 
300k for where? Ha, <laughs> Mogo. Mogo. Baby, you're the best Mogo I've ever seen. <laughs> Thank you for watering my account for me, babe. Woo! <laughs> I told, I told guys, this business is dope. Huh? See how la. <laughs> hey, hey, I'll be the one servicing you, giving you from behind, and then you're the one paying me. Isn't that great? <laughs> Isn't that great, Nigerian ladies? I will service you and you will pay me. And you pay me for services. Ah, wonderful. Wonderful. This is outrageous, man. Woo! 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 <laughs> One meter! <laughs> it's a done deal for Richard, man. It's a done deal. That lady is beautiful. Come on, just negodu. Negodu, negodu, cool. Uh, this should be my better shot. Oh, okay. Seems she's having a problem with her car. Richard, are you ready for this? Are you the one? I think this is my best shot. Come on, Richard, come put yourself. Come put yourself. Remember, I'm not too soft at the morning, too doing the afternoon, too not at the Okay, I know what she wants. She's standing under the sun, right? I got this for you, baby. I got this for you. <laughs> All right, Richard, be a gentleman. Comport yourself. Compose. Focus. 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 Hello, ma'am. Hi. 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 Sorry. I noticed you, uh, you were having a problem with your car, right? Yes. Um, but first, come on, the sun is too sunny. Pretty lady like you ought not to stay under this caution, so can, can you help me with okay, this? Thank you. Yeah, sure. That's fine. Oh, I'm sorry. The sun is too much for you. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Now we can talk about the car. So, um, what did you say is wrong with the car again? I can't say. I just took it to the mechanic yesterday for service. And now this. Hush! Come on. You should know that this roadside mechanic, they know nothing. Absolutely nothing. You see, each time I want to service my car, I do that myself. But, uh, don't worry, I'll find out. Okay. Okay, I think I know where the port is coming from. Fine, I can fix it. You can? Yeah, sure. Do you have anything like a spinal? Maybe 11 or 13 or something? No, I just have this. And Jack. Do you need Jack? Um, okay, I, I can go with this then. Don't worry about it, Jack. Just okay. hold on to this for me. Are you sure, please? I don't want the sun to... <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Oh, the fan belt? Yes. You didn't keep very well. So oh, right. Take Remember your I time. Took, no problems. I told you this mechanic, they are not always focused. What's going on? He ought to have called me to inform me if he has gotten the alert. He hasn't. Could it be network failure? Time if I want to fix my car, do that myself. Sorry, your phone is ringing. Oh. oh don't worry about this car. I don't want to pick this car. Why? The person might be needing your help. No, go on. You see, those people each time they call, you just know they want to beg for money. And not in this sad time. Don't worry about it, okay? Please take your call. It's ringing again. I know why she's calling and I don't want to take the call. Oh, she? Uh, uh, no. I mean the person calling me actually. I'm not to worry about her, okay? But it's not good to ignore calls like this. The person might be needing your help. Oh, come on, man. You worry too much. Are you going to worry about the caller? Just worry about this car and how you live here. Okay? 
Do you want to spoil the makeup on your face? No. <laughs> I'm fine. You, you know what? I was raised by my poor single mother. Okay? I was actually born with a silver spoon and then I lost the spoon. So my mother single-handedly trained me. You see, whatever I possess now, I worked hard for it. Wow. And you know what? Heaven is going to judge me for driven past you just like that. So I must make sure this car is in the perfect condition so it can leave here. So good to hear. Thank you. Come on, you can sit right here. He's not taking my calls. Why? Maybe he's preparing to go to the village. I'm sure he'll call me back. <clears throat> Are you good? Yeah. I'm sorry about that. Maybe you should also change the spring. Well, <laughs> your car is in a perfect condition now. Just go in and start your ignition. Are you serious? Just go in and start the ignition. Although you have to change the plugs because I cleaned it now. Um, but with the way it is now, it can take you home. The plugs? Yeah. The plugs. You know, I spent nearly 50,000 naira yesterday in servicing this car. Why didn't they change the plugs? Come on, what do you expect for, for lunatics? Who calls themselves mechanics? Well, just call that a waste. Like I told you, you have to change the plugs. And remember I told you, these roadside mechanics, they are not to be trusted. All right, let me check. Ah. Oh, the... Go and start it. Let me see. Much. I really oh, do appreciate it. No, come on. Just hold on to this. <laughs> I told you. I told you. I told you. Yeah, with the way it is now, it can take you home. Yeah. How come you're good in cars? <laughs> Funny question. All right. Uh, this person standing in front of you actually studied mechanical engineering in the university. Oh. Even without being told you're good in cars. Um, why don't you open up an auto mechanical workshop? Ah, come on. Nah, that's not my destiny. Mechanic. Ah, nah, 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 nah. Do you know this person standing in front of you already have masters in mechanical engineering? And you know what? As I speak with you now, I'm running my doctorate degree. So you don't expect me with all, all this knowledge just to open a roadside. Come on, who does that? You don't need to flare up. Just my humble suggestion. Ah, trust me, I'm not angry. I'm not angry. I mean, who am I to get angry when it's coming from a beautiful lady like you? Um, well, as a matter of fact, I work with the Platform Petroleum Company. Platform Petroleum Company? Yes, as the Chief Senior Supervisor when it comes to engineering duties. Wow, I know Platform. Of course you should. Oh. It's a global, you know. Yes. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. You're I really welcome. do appreciate it. God bless you. Come on, mm -hmm. come on. You know you're a pretty lady, okay? Here's uh, my compliment card. You can call me anytime, any day. That's all right. Who am I to say no? And thank you for coming to my rescue. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. I mean, I should thank you. I mean, if I had not drive past this place, I wonder what would have become of you. Standing under this caution, son, you know, I respect women a lot. Looking at you, you're radiating like the sun. So you ought not to be in the sun because you're like the sun. So sweet of you. Thank you. Oh, come on. You can say that again. Please don't flatter me. Uh, let me run along. I was actually on my way to see a client before this happened. <sighs> it's okay then. All right. Drive safely. I'll be expecting your call. Oh, sure. Whenever I have the chance. But trust me, I'll create one. All right. All right. Um, uh, uh, Do I hold on to this or you still want, if you want to go with it, it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. You can have it. I could actually get more though. Yeah, Are you sure worry. you want me to have it? Yes. Okay, fine. <laughs> thank you so oh, much. But don't bother. I'll <laughs> see you off to the car. All like, right. Okay. Uh, here's your jack. Your oh, spine, thank yeah. you. <laughs> Uh, okay, I guess, yeah. All right. Yes, okay. okay, I'll be expecting your call. Yeah, sure, I will, I will, I will. Yes, this is another big fish. And I will tag this fish, catfish. I will suck her dry. I will so suck you dry, my catfish.
He is such a braggart. But he's cute. <laughs> Maybe I can pay him to play my gigolo. But he's rich. Yeah. He looks rich. He said he's an engineer working with Platform Petroleum Company. Oh, I didn't remember to ask of his name or his contacts. But the way he ignored that caller, he might decide not to call me. I saw the look on his face before I hopped into my car. He was lost in after me, seriously. He wanted to devour me with his eyes. Oh, that guy is all shades of handsomeness. Uh, where is uh, Richard? I will never come home. Never this year. I don't understand. Do you mean Richard has not come to work this morning? Scott, um, did anybody ask of me? Yes, that man will get that he lost. He didn't come, so but I tell him men, men come back. Okay, you ask him to come back later. Uh, okay, it's okay. Um, no problem. Let's uh, we need to fix this. Uh, let's see how it is. Good afternoon. Richard, are you just coming to work this morning? Um, okay, it's not my fault. Too. It's just that of a shift come up for the motor now. Okay, just that I have I have an emergency call in the village. So I have to rush to the village. You always have emergency call, distress call. Every everything, even your life now distress. Richard, Richard, what is even wrong with you? Okay, not, not my fault. Say God, give me better destiny now. You know, say for our full village like this now, only my destiny now clear. Others, others have fake destiny. You know, only you get good destiny, Abby. Okay, huh? I, don't, I don't promise my village people say anytime they call on me, I go answer them. I mean, Will like, you go, go just go and join them and do something? Okay, you say. I said, get out of my sight and join them. Look for something to do. Uh, see, uh, okay, see, uh, when are they come back for village? So I call branch hospital, I call do tests. They say I get also. If I go where cover now, so this also feel bust. And you know, say my insurance company people they travel. Richard. Okay. Richard. Okay. Richard. Okay, now. How many times I call you? Okay, you calculate yourself now. How many Ten years? years you never come up for this workshop. Ever. Ten years, you see the year. Bros, go wear your uniform. Oh, come, see that motor where you live for there. Go finish your motor. Nonsense. See, go and lose that alternator. The owner will come hey, and pick hey, it 30 okay, minutes time. Okay, I, no verse. I, be, I just remember something now. You know, say it's a bit fish AC. I bet check this my AC. You know they do where. I need you to help me check. I know I'll pay you. I'll just do you. Help me check. You, you go look for your, you'll call your father to come and fix AC. Your days are number. You know, you, you have few, your days are number here. You know, you know, get respect again. No, no your days are number here. Not a stupid, stupid boy. Hello, Ken. Good afternoon. I'm not too fine. I'm broke. I need money. I need urgent 300k. Ken, I'm serious. Very serious right now, please. I'm in my house. I just said I am in my house and you know I don't entertain male visitors in my house. Whether my daughter is around or my daughter is in school, I do not entertain male visitors, period. 
Okay, how about you do a transfer to me? Fine, you can do a transfer from any POS around you now. Where exactly are you? Apple, you don't finish the, the level. Right? I won't finish up. I don't know why Richard just did that. This my smile. You know, you go ahead and leave. I mean, leave this one where I don't know what thing they do for here. We just did a press press for here. I bet try eh? They hear me? Try make you run that matter first so that because you enter the other mode now. See. I don't know why, I don't know why one of the envy person where don't make and pass on now. Eh, I'm gonna leave me with my smile. See, okay, see guys, eh, I don't see my mood would be. Where do you say? Sorry for the gods. Now you want to see that one. Make sure I say that true. Listen, I don't, I don't you understand you. I did tell you something. Why be like any time I go to tell you something, you go to doubt me. See, bye. The other day you say your mother dropped a million. Ross, till now, we never see any evidence. Now, my mother doesn't drop another million. Who you won't deceive? Like, now who you won't deceive? I bet you to the lie. Stop, stop. No, 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 the, no the line. Now you to the lie, guy. Oh my see eh? Nelson. Now which day you could just agree, say me, Richard, big pass you. As in, which day you go agree, say yes, Richard better pass you. Wait. Be like, I, be I hear you well. He said, you big pass me. Like, in which level? Wait, like, in, in what capacity? Bros, in all ramifications, I big pass you. See, in the spiritual and the physical realm, I better pass you. If I'm a calm down. See, I big pass you, oh man, abroad. You don't get anywhere where you go fit compare with me. Alpha, we all, all of us now, guys. Even for ESF, I big pass you. Bros, even 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 yourself, no rich there, I'm not gonna know who big part. See, see this guy, see, I, I know they like you, every like I go because they talk too much. You know, understand? I don't grow past that stage. After I'm gonna come see evidence. Because I know the. Come, I need to show now. Ma, see, I'm gonna see him. I don't take them. I want to see. I know. Wait till you want to see. I want to see. I don't think I'm down. I'm down. 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 Oh, you wait now, you see the thing now, you see, I mean the white right thing Ah, you go chef or only way you chef. Hey, 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 if you know say you want Simone, I'm gonna know you can't de convenience my, my destiny for you. Alpha, wait till with this. Look at now, you see that one, what did you see for you? For you? Now 11 million you see. Now who you want to see? Now who you want to watch? I'll be 10 meters, you see for you, they see 700, they see how much you want. What did you see for you, so? You can't zero. Eleven M. Correct guy. We don't make calm, Baba. Who be we? I did am over there. You go give me share for inside now. Timo, all those things now wash. People they walk calm. Now fake alert with that. Now fake alert. And now be now not be eleven million there yeah. so. Baba. Eh? I must be my Alpha, share. you don't feel the linkage. I don't act. Go, that. go, 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 go. No worry, I'll do hundred K for you. Go, go. Hundred K. Go now. Quality for Correct. Now me, now me the now me the run. Wait, 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 wait. Richard, you mean say that fine woman ain't packaged like this? How you take on this matter, sir? That fine woman ain't packaged like this, 11 million. Why, why they look man? I be like leg bearer for your eye. Leg bearer. No, as I, as I did like that, I be like how they suffer. <laughs> See, I be a motor zoom, a motor soft, a motor run things. She will get. They understand for money, a motor soft, up to no motor zoom. In the night, a motor ratata. Motor ratata. As in Baboshi, anybody. She will tell you. See like this, like this, uh, soon I don't see Richard, but I'm gonna do a business class, I'm gonna do anywhere for the for the world, I'll just do the tour. Sir? Yes, I say no, you know the year we're clean your ear. Yeah. So now they let that one they shock you. Might give you another gist. I don't catch another fine woman where fine pass this one. You see? I said I don't catch another better woman where fine pass this one. You understand? Based on the streets, they call her clients. Clients, clients where they do your normal daily bread, you know. You just be like insurance company. You get back to for that side. You be Mugu. Better Mugu. I don't mean say the original Mugu where they do us where your own Mugu is a careless Mugu. Okay. 
when they talk about clients. See, and this woman swear, I go so milk calm. Milk. Uh, wait, Richard. Look at this. Open up for you, because I know say they always did that. See, I'm. No, they press this phone. No, wait, wait. This will not be clipper, not be, not be, not be brake pad. Hold on like this. Hold on, just hold on like this. They look and I know that. This na wait. This na bank allows me so. No, now that man where they do a cow for your village, now they are allowed with that. Timu, this is not true. Look at me. You talk, me, me. This is not true. If they see in a bank with that, you tell me see this not. Oh, Chama. Well, if you, if you enter my fish show, you don't die. Chama. Correct. Chamo. Correct, correct. I beg, I beg. Eh? No, no, what if you do for me? What if you do that? Teach me work. Teach me this work. You know, calm down. I don't know to see you. No, the knock yet, nah. Leave me, this guy choose his destiny. No, the knock yet. If I talk to me, you want the way of life. I mean, you won't follow this idiot. Where I want the way of life. Now, way of life, who do you follow idiot? Correct guy. First of all, you, you don't say by shots. If you like this, like by shots. Don't do not go pull lights from my body. We did all this your BS. Ah ah. It's clients. No, they oh. They are very receive me. No minor, no minor, no minor. Come on, Jamo. What do you what do what do you do? What do you what do you make your what do you hand to do for my waist? Where you coordinate yourself? You you want go prison? Who you the hold for waist? So all these things when they carry, so they tell you a man like you, they go with their waist. See, if I get police people number, even if steps out they do street, I still be good citizen. I'll just call the now, they'll just go pull you for jail. Varish like that. Eh, hey, you calm down. Yeah. See, if I you fair buy one collars, sharp collars, you cut all this grass, or you give out some people, I'll pay them, make the cutter for you. Then I'll buy pack. You have a nice place. Why have you been hiding it from me? My place, my privacy. My choice and decision not to let anyone see it. But I want to be the boss. Off. Never. Huh. This is the money you requested for. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's just that I have to go through the stress of still transferring this at a POS, but thank you. Don't worry yourself. I'll do the transfer. Oh. Okay. Let me give you my account. Done. Okay, let me check through then. I'll let you know what's oh perfect. Yeah, they just came. Thank you. You're welcome, babe. Actually, sweetheart, I just don't want to be the boss over your life or your choices. I love you and I want you in my life. No. It takes two people to tango, right? That is you and I. And this person here is saying she doesn't want to tango. So there's no need putting yourself through that stress of saying you want to marry me because I am never going to consider that as an option. What? Am I not up to your standard? Don't you feel good around me? We are compatible. We are not compatible. I am not compatible with anybody because if I were to be compatible with anyone, then there's no way anybody would have done what... <sighs> Ken, it's fine. Your time is up. I think you need to go now because actually, I also need to go out. You have to leave, please. I don't want to regret the fact that I allowed you to come to my house. It's okay. I'll be on my way. But before then... Okay. 
for your disagreements. I want you and your daughter to be comfortable. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Madame, it is. But this one be like my madame. Oh. My madame, they behave like this now. Huh? What do you come to this woman again? Yeah, I know you like this kind of thing, no. Oh. And they like him. How oh, madame got there quiet like this? For the past one week, Richard has not called, neither has his phone been reachable. It's been switched off. His neighbors said they've not seen him for days. <sighs> the bank's money. Hey, I personally signed as his guarantor because of my closeness to him. Now Richard is nowhere to be found. He has disappeared into thin air. If only I know his village. Maybe I could have just... I would have gone there in search of him. Hey, God... Where do I search for Richard now? Where do I start from? Raymond. Yes, baby. No one will ever believe you are this sweet. Hmm. You can see that again. <laughs> uh. You're very sweet. You know, I can actually pay you to Always make yourself available for me. I don't understand. You see, ever since I lost my husband, I've been self-starved. And meeting you ignited that love again. Oh, uh, um... Are you, are you saying you're a widow? Yes. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, baby. Sorry about that. It's okay. So, um, Raymond? Yeah. I need a lover. Someone who can always warm my bed. Just that? Someone that can always warm your bed and not a husband? I don't want to remarry because of my children. Come on. I don't say that. Are you going to deprive yourself of the joy simply because of your children? Look, on me. I want something deep with you. Something that is as deep as the ocean. Marriage? Of course. I want to marry you. My late husband's brother would run me up. Moreover, I'm way older than you. Oh, come on. God, that bullshit, man. Sweetheart, let me tell you, this is the 21st century. Huh? At this point in time, even 18 years old guy can get married to a 50 year old woman. Yes. I'm telling you the fact. Moreover, I, you see, as it is now, I, I, I have everything it takes to take good care of you. Huh? Age is just a number. Do not allow age or, or, or in-laws to come in between us. Okay? Look, I love you. You just confirmed it that, I, that I'm, I'm sweet. I'm very sure I'm sweeter than your late husband. 
Um, so you, you you don't don't bring age into this or your in-laws. I will service you very well, anyhow you want it. I know you can do that very well, but please, marriage should be off for now. Baby, I fell helplessly in love with you the very first day I set my eyes on you. Even when I don't know your marital status. Come on. Raymond, please. Come on, so baby. Come, let's just, let just do one round more so you know what I'm talking about. I love you, baby. Why do I have this feeling that he duped me? He purposely switched his phone off. Have I been a fool for love? Why did it take me so long to realize that he is not what he seems? Tell me, tell me that I'm dreaming. Tell me what I'm seeing. It's not reality. Someone tell me that I'm dreaming. <laughs> Richard, you bad! Richard, you're the baddest guy in town! Huh? You're a bad nigga, Richard! Hey, come on! Who doesn't know Richard? Eh? How about those soft in the morning? Those do in the afternoon? Lale! To ratata, shoti! Hey! See me one married grandmama! Ha ha! Ah! Correct! That's why we say enter her. You don't understand. We enter her like this. Before you go do <laughs> Before she go wake up and start swindle all the money her late husband left behind for her. <laughs> then she will fall down crying. <laughs> I'm gonna run this town. <laughs> I'm gonna run this town. From Lagos to Europe to PH to APJ. Now we're gonna run this town. <laughs> now we're gonna run this town. When I service you, you pay. When I come across you, there's a debit alert. <laughs> you don't just come closer to reach out without a debit alert. There must be a debit alert. Hello? There must be a debit alert. Let me to run this town. Let me to run this town. Yes, sir. His name is Richard Onogolu. Yes. So I have with me the contract paper and I'm calling you because your number is on the letter headed paper. This is Iba Aluminium Company, and I'd like you rightly called. I have equally seen the letter you forwarded to our email address. What you have is our official letter headed paper, that we do not have any contract with Mr. Richard Onogun. In fact, we don't go into contract with individuals. We operate with only corporate entities. What? Sorry, let, let me understand you. Let me understand you, sir. Are you saying that you do not have a contract with Mr. Richard? Listen, sir, it was on the ground of this contract that I guaranteed him for a loan of 10 million naira at the bank. What I understand here is that you have been duped. And I would advise that you lodge your complaint with the police. They will track him down using the details in the bank. Uh, uh, hello? Hello, hello, sir? Hello? Dude, Richard cannot deal with me now. Eh? No. Richard is my baby. He, he. Tell me, tell me that I'm dreaming. Tell me what I'm seeing. It's not reality. Someone tell me that I'm dreaming. And I'm begging someone. Please wake me up. 
good afternoon. Why me? Oh. Mama, good afternoon. Why me? The goddess I see. Mama, we like that people. I've told you to stop calling me a goddess. I'm not a god. I'm, I'm a human being, a banker at that. Let me get straight to the business that brought me. Have you seen him today? Uh, I've not seen him even since that time. I've not seen him. You know, the, the tenants, his co tenants, like all of us, we follow go meet the lawyer in charge of this house. And the lawyer said that Richard is no more staying in this place. Like, he's no more part of us at all. Are you sure about this? Very, very sure now. Nah. Very, very, very sure. What have I gotten myself into? My, it'd be like, you don't know, no, Richard. Richard is a wolf in sheep clothing. He's a stupid man. Oh, eh? oh my God. Come I wonder Richard. what he have done this time around. This one are desperately looking for him like that. Oh, no worry, eh? you go. You must catch him. Any bird that fly must perch on a tree. So you must surely catch him. Huh? Why? This kind of. Which kind of? Which? She's crying, no? Huh? You can sign me. Make I go to book my game. This is game, huh? You must play. I'll put in car. Come on, go to my game. He scammed me. He played a fast one on me. How could he? How on earth could Richard? Do a thing like that, even when he knew what I went through to get that money approved for him. Now he has disappeared into thin air and left me to lick my wounds. Oh, where do I go from here? How do I pay back 10 million naira? Eh? 10 million that was given to a fool. This poses as a threat to my job. I pray I don't lose my job because of this. And the one million na Hey! I'm left with nothing. How do I go back to square zero? After everything I've been through, Richard is still letting me go through this. Oh my God. sell my properties to pay off this loan how many properties can i even sell to pay off 10 million naira eh, what is this one why did i sign this loan why eh? why why okay why why what's my reason that i have to sign as a guarantor Hello, big sis. Franca. Listen, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I cannot even lie. I'm not okay. I don't understand what's happening. Franca, I'm finished. I'm finished. <sighs> sis, I don't know what you're going through right now, but you have to calm down, please. Okay? Whatever is going on with you, it's not enough for you to start talking like this. Please. Listen, I'm, I'm breaking down. Franka, if you don't bring yourself here as fast as your legs can carry you, I will do something very terrible to myself. God forbid. Sis, don't say that, please. You will do no such thing. Franka. Hello, big sis. Hello, Ellen. Please wake me up. Wake me up. Why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? Why did you do this? Why me? Why did you do this 
Why me? Why me? Why me? Babe, why are you not considering my proposal? We've been on this for quite some time. Okay. Thing is, I don't want to keep talking back and forth. I have made this very clear to you that I only need a man who is ready to accept my daughter and take my daughter as his. But I equally have a child. I have a daughter. That is the problem. The more reason I do not want to compromise. Like seriously, I need no one coming and competing with my daughter. Who is competing? Ken. You know what? Let's just remain friends with benefit like we have always been. That would be better. Like, because I, I don't want anything else. Nothing more, nothing less. No addition, no subtraction. All right? Friends will benefit. Is that what you take me for? Come on, you should be grateful that I'm getting married to you when you already know you're after one. Excuse me? <laughs> no, no, no. Who is after one? Myself? Oh, wait. So this has escalated into insults. What are you yourself? No, tell me, what are you? Are you not after one? Huh? Who even knows if you were just after one? Because you were busy going everywhere and sowing your seeds. Who knows if you are after 10 or something? You're here insulting me. You know what? Let this just end right here before you escalate it more than this. I won't take this from you or anybody. Excuse me, please. What the hell is wrong with this girl? Does she think she's still a baby? You should be grateful that I'm trying to marry you and you're here goofing around. Ellie! Jesus. What happened? What is this? I want to die. Can you stop this? I want to die. There is nothing else left in this life for me. I want to die either by a knife, a rope, or a substance. <laughs> Unfortunately, only fools take their own lives. You are not a fool. And this is known even by those who hate you. You're a woman of the future. So you have to compose yourself and tell me what this is all about. Richard. Richard has finally shown his true identity. I don't understand. Richard has disappeared with the bank's money. Wait. You told me about the loan which he said he wanted to use to execute a contract. There is no contract. What? There is no contract. So I did a background check with the company that Richard said gave him the contract. And then, they don't know him. So apparently, Richard laid his hands on the company's letter-headed paper, forged the contract, and forged the MD signature. He should be arrested immediately. He's a criminal. Just how do I arrest Richard? I went to the house where he said he lives. And his security man told me that he moved out to an unknown destination. Oh, sis. Sis, but I told you this. I warned you. I warned you not to take such risks. Richard tricked me. Richard tricked me and took an extra 700,000 naira for his father's spinal cord surgery. Spinal cord surgery? How? What? What, what are you trying to say? 
I don't know. I don't know. So somebody called him. And told him that his father had fallen from where he was roofing and needed his surgery. And you gave him yet another money on top of the one you already sees. What happened to you? Were you charmed? Maybe. Maybe, oh, maybe, maybe. I am so disappointed at you. I am so disappointed that your desperation to get married has landed you into this terrible mistake. Listen, sis, there is something you should know. Marriage is not an achievement. If many of those ladies, murdered by their husbands, had stayed single, they wouldn't have died. You should know all those things. Hello, hello, Inspector, sir. Yes, I have spotted the criminal. Yes, right now. At Fate at Medi Plaza. Yes, sir. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. save you is if you pay me my money because oh I will so deal with you what is going on here? did you say baby are you asking me to come down eh are you asking me to come down we know you are not his, his mother he's a sugar boy and a thief that's what's going on he took my sister a whooping 11 million Wait, I don't get it one bit. What is going on? They called you Richard here, but you told me your name is uh, Raymond, right? <laughs> is this who you are? Hold on! I'm talking to you. Is this who you are? Please. So you're a reckless neighbor. So I know you've sucked me, but it doesn't matter. I can get over it. You were uh, selling my car key, please. Give it to me. Oh, so you're That's my his khaki. next victim, eh? Oh, you were still calling her baby. Don't worry, I have called the police and they will teach you a lesson that you will never ever forget. Excuse me, you're not going You mean to tell me he duped you of 11 million naira? Even more. Calm down, Oda. Let the police come and arrest him. Baby, don't forget I love you to the moon. Shut up! You love who? Shut up! Keep quiet! Keep quiet! Hold him! I know who he is. He will run away. Call the police. Let them Baby, come now. Do Baby, this is your moto soft, the moto do. Shut up, shut, shut up, Inspector, sir. Yes, we have him now. Yes, sir. He's here. Yes. You're going nowhere. Did you say a moto what? Moto do. Lale, you run. Lale, 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 get you there. Stop, you, you. Before me, you're, you're calling her. Lale, lale, you knew that. Go, you knew that.
Mr. Philip. Good evening, Miss Sally. Are you back in the house? Oh, yes, I am. So, what was it you wanted us to talk about earlier? Yes, um, there is a business I want to discuss with you, but I couldn't talk about it in the bank. The very reason I asked for your contacts. Okay, let me hear it. What's it about? I am Mr. Philip Iwejo, the ADPR man of Selton Holdings Limited, makers of Freshly Beauty. Freshly Beauty product? Do you guys want me to patronize you or something? Not really. Selton Holdings Limited shall be launching a new range of hair products soon. Currently, we are looking for ambassadors, but then you came to my mind. Okay, so how do I come in? <laughs> Mr. Philip, I I don't mean to sound rude, but I'm a banker and I have no business with this. I know what you should do something outside your profession. Hence, it is not against the ethics of your profession. And again, if the pay is good. Okay, how about I say let me think about this and then get back. To you, Mr. Philip. It is all right. Take your time. Bye. Thank you. Do have a nice day. Freshly beauty product. Is this how God is trying to compensate me for all the things that I lost in the hands of Richard? Is this how he wants to pay me back? Madam, this one when you come, come there inside motor, you won't come down. I hope everything is okay. But I'm fine. Yeah. going to sit there and not answer me? What is going on with you? How is your husband? This is Fred. Fred is fake. What nonsense are you talking about? Did you catch him with another girl? He has dissed me. Fred ditched you? Did you guys get into a fight or something? Because I don't seem to understand what you're talking about. Did you guys get in a fight? I can't even talk about it. I feel so ashamed of myself right now. Daya, yeah, yeah. help me with that. Uh, I think that's funny. Mm. 
Got you. Hey, can you want? But you know, eh? Guy, I feel very bad for Richard for what happened. But you remember, I warned him. I warned him about this, but he wouldn't listen. I told him that crime doesn't pay. You know if he pay you. Now see what you don't do. We'll see what you don't happen. <clears throat> Me, I feel sir, he's very stupid to have remained in this country. Because if he had left this country like he planned, what is will not be happening? They wouldn't have arrested him. I don't understand. Wait. Are you possibly supporting him? If you do that kind of thing, you bow our door. No go do what he go implicate you. <clears throat> My brother, call it as you want to call it too. But they've arrested him, Abi. It is an uh, it is an uh, everybody what they do, what they do. Nine 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 big guy man. Not everybody what they do. Nine big guy man. Not everybody what they smoke big guy man. You know what you and I know what I am saying. Right. Yeah, the fine sample. This is yourself. What happened with this thing? Just say that they do it. What happened with this thing first? Are you going to just sit there and not eat? My relationship has hit the rocks. And you're asking me to eat. I can't eat. Double sleep. <laughs> okay, don't worry. I'm winning already. Six five. I told you. Now I'm going to teach you how to play this game. Double six. Hold on a second. Let me show you how it's done. Double six again. Six four. So that is double six, six four. <laughs> you brought up four six. That's it. That's how it's done. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Are you not afraid of losing? You see, when I lose, I learn. When I win, I learn. Either ways, it's a learning process for me. I play to learn, baby mm. sis. That's nice. All right. What did I get for? Okay. Six, four. Sis, you don't know why I'm happy. Tell me. Why? We'll soon be getting married. <laughs> the, is that a joke? No. You were getting married? Yes. To who and when? To who and when? Okay, to the question who. Um, his name is Frederick. And to when? It's when you, my big six, approves of it and give me a go-ahead order. You are going to get my approval, but that's going to happen only when you tell me who he is, what he does for a living, and where both of you met. So start talking. Sis, calm down. You meet him, don't worry. Hmm? She's You'll serious. I'm serious. Um, sis, meet uh, Fred, the man I told you about. Yeah. Baby? Yes. Yeah. Meet my big sis. Mr. Fred, it's such a pleasure to meet you. Please make yourself very comfortable. Uh, thank you, sir. <clears throat> thank you. You are welcome to my humble abode. Come on, darling, get him something to, to drink. Well, first of all, I have to thank you for your hospitality. What what can we offer you, Mr. Fred? Well, something soft. Anything soft. Soft? Yeah. Oh, you do sound soft too. <laughs> Come on, get him something. All right. right. Don't be long. <clears throat> so, Mr. Fred, 
this is the point where I would like to get to meet you a little. So tell me, what do you do for a living? Um, well, first of all, like I said earlier, I still have to thank you for your hospitality. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, my name is Fred, Prince Frederick of Homer. Yeah, I'm the Crown Prince of um, Owara Kingdom. I asked for what you do for a living. Are you invariably saying that you just sit on kingdom's wealth and have nothing to do for Ensmith? No, far from it. I'm a, I'm a civil engineer by profession. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I'm into building and construction. So what I'm saying is I have a company of my own, though still very little, but I believe with time it will take us to our desired end. <laughs> you know, something small. I have a company of my own, though still very little, but I believe with time it will take us to our desired end. <laughs> you know, something small. Sometimes it produces something very mighty. I mean, big things can always emanate from little things. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Thank you. <laughs> you're right. Mm. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> My baby, let me ask you. How long have you known Fred and how long have your relationship been ongoing? Um, for two months now. Two um, months? Yeah. The thing is that he, um, he showed interest in me and I told him it's marriage or nothing. So he agreed to marry me. That's what we're here. Yeah. So do you think that Two months is enough time for both of you to have known each other to become man and wife? Yes, yes. And to you, Mr. Fred, do you think you are ready, I mean, as a person, to marry my sister? Um, as a matter of fact, I'm ready. And that's why I concord to what she said. <laughs> Wow, that was pretty an interview over there. <laughs> Your sis, she's so intelligent. Wow, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You once said she's a banker, right? Yes. She's really intelligent, I must confess. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. And the meal, who made it? She. Oh my word. It was so sumptuous. <laughs> I must confess, I really enjoyed myself. Mm. Yes. Wow. You can say that again. You know, when it comes to cooking, yes. we know our onions. <laughs> and when I cook, the angels gain weight. <laughs> the angels gain weight indeed. Because like this, I really enjoyed myself and I'm satisfied. <laughs> yes, thank you. So, um, now that you've met at least a member of my family, what's the next action in life? Yeah, let's say I'll have to come with my people by next week. Oh. Yes, a week from today, definitely. All right, I'll be waiting for you. You don't have a problem. You can always count on me on that, okay? <laughs> and I hope you'll be visiting before then. Oh, babe, we've been through all this. Oh. Relax, okay? Just chill for now. It's all right. I have to run along. I'll call you. <laughs> have a nice day. All right. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. All right, yeah. So, sis, what do you have to say about him? Slow down. A young man is quite quite energetic, handsome, and every woman's kind of man. There's something about him that doesn't seem right with me. How 
what do you mean? There are conflicting informations about him that he gave to you. He told you he's the prince of Owara kingdom. <laughs> My darling, I have been searching for that kingdom on Google and you can't seem to find it. It is not in existence. I don't understand. Are you trying to say he's dishonest or what? Well, I wish I could be that blonde. But I can't bring myself to being that blunt right now. All I have to say is slow down. Take things easy. You're still confusing me the more. I don't understand. Um, Fred is quite a fine gentleman. But you would agree with me that I have come across a whole lot of people in my life's journey. And I can confidently tell you that there is something that is not seeming right about him. Take your time and study him a little bit more and get to know him better. <laughs> Sis, I know all these things, but I still believe all men are not the same. I didn't say they are, my darling. Pardon me if you think I said so. But you see that young man, Fred? I can confidently tell you that. His T's are not crossing and his eyes are not dotting. Jim, I don't even understand you. Are you trying to say I'm a child that doesn't know what she wants? Yes, I may not be perfect in character analysis, but I have a heart. I have feelings and I know what I want. Why do I have this feeling that you are upset with me because I just made a very simple and plain analysis of a man that you brought in here. Big sis, I have studied Fred. As a matter of fact, his family is coming in a week's time. What? To do what exactly? You don't need that. Take a break and breathe. Why? Why? I still insist that you take your time and take it slow because there is something about that young man that will unfold and it will in due time. He is my choice. last night. I have something I wanted to thrash. You look unkept. What could that be? I'm only late for work. Sis! There is something I want us to talk about. Now. Please. Does it have anything to do with Fred? He has everything to do with him. Why did you say those things you said about him? Seriously? You came to the house at this hour of the morning when you know I'm supposed to be at work to talk about a thing like this? Are you even serious right now? Listen, baby sis. Listen to me. I like Fred. I don't hate him. There's no reason in the world why I should. I'm with you on this. Okay? Fred is cute, he's tall, he looks to me like someone who makes you happy. I understand. But then again, there's something that is not right about him. I mean, according to the information that he gave you. Sis, this is exactly what I want us to talk about. You make me look like an imbecile who doesn't know the difference between the wrong and, and, and right. What is it? I am 
I'm an adult, I am heading to 30. At least allow me to make decisions concerning myself. Who says that you, my darling sister, cannot make your own decisions? Listen, you are free to take whatever decision that suits your life. Alright? But what I'm trying to say... What? Nothing, sis! Nothing! I want Fred and he's going to marry me. Please, that marriage must stand. Now you're already sounding angered. And that's something that I do not want to happen. So why don't you go inside? Your sister is late for work. When I get back home, then we can talk about everything and you wanting Fred and not wanting him. Is that okay? I'll see you when I get back. Let me just um, clear yeah. the road for you. Yes, please. I tried to stop you. I was foolish. I refused to listen to you. I just carried away with this box. You still haven't told me what happened. He's a playboy. He has absolutely nothing to do with your outie. Now my life is completely messed up. How did you find out? Those people he came with for the introduction were all paid. All of them were paid just to play that role. I knew it. I knew it from the very beginning. Yes, I, I felt it. I knew something wasn't right about him. You tried to stop me. You tried to stop me, but I was so stupid. Well, when we left, I was expecting him to take me to his father's palace. The palace of the king of Wara Kingdom. Rather, he took me to one house. He left me there just after two weeks. I ran away. Wait. Before I could say anything, the real owner of the house came and chased me out. Are you saying he doesn't have a house? Oh. I've been fooled. I just pray I'm not pregnant for that idiot. His name is not even Fred. What? EGK. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Help yourself. You made a terrible mistake. You're not going to beat yourself over it. So you're going to have to eat your food. And then when you have finished, we can then find a way to sort this whole thing out. Is that okay? Go ahead and get your food. That's enough. Tell me, tell me that I'm dreaming. Tell me what I'm seeing. It's not reality. Wow. You are really doing so well for yourself, I must commend. Looks like someone has suddenly forgotten that I'm a banker. A working class lady who knows her onions in banking sectors, I must say. Thank you very yeah. much. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah. So, tell me, how did you make it this big? Well, I do a lot of things. We all know that money business is risk-taking business. And fortunately, I am one of those bankers who is always ready to take the risk. I see. Taking risks as in arranging loosely documented loans for your customers, right? Something like that, even though it is not exactly. You said loosely documented. No, it's not. 
it is properly documented. What happens is that we just bend some of the rules and make accessibility to funds easier for young business owners. You see, I, I know so many bankers who do the same thing you do. But once it backfires, they will land themselves into a big mess. Well, let's just say I am different. I am mastery in my own game. None of my deals has ever backfired. Not until recently. Really? So, tell me about it. That will be a story for another day. It must be a very bad experience mm -hmm. for you. Very, very bad. But that simple incident taught me a lot. I learned through the hard way. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. I'm no longer in that place mentally, even though I had to pay through my nose. But, I learned my lessons. Also, I made a lot of money. And then I thought to myself, what can I possibly invest this money into? And then, got the answer. I invested in stocks. Wow. Don't tell me that I'm seated with a big lady and I know it's not. <laughs> oh, please. Listen, that's enough. Enough of me. Now, let's talk about you. Let's flip the cards. Tell me everything I need to know about you. Oh, um, really? You see, um, there is nothing much to say about me. I am just a hustler trying to survive. And what do you mean by that? I'm a graduate of economics, but I chose to do business, which did not augur well with my parents, who are academicians. As a matter of fact, I have a shipping company. Wow. My parents are teachers. One principal then turned professor, and then another professor. But my dad is retired. Sir. Is my namesake a professor too? Yes. Uh -huh. As you can see, I was raised by disciplinarians. There is something about children who are raised by disciplinarians. Hey, hey, hey. What do you mean by that? <laughs> has taken a nosedive and I have land crashed. I keep deceiving girls and promising them what I can't offer. The same thing I did to Onye. I only did to Franca just to have my way with them. Now, my life is completely messed up. A promising young man a graduate like me, I can't simply afford a good life due to the kind of idiotic lifestyle I chose to live. <sighs> Lord help me. Hmm. Your parents must have trained you with iron fist. I'm telling you, you see, at first, I thought they hated me. At some point, I even suspected that they were not our biological parents. 
Are you to serious? The, yes, due to the hard way they, they try and bring us up. <laughs> That's serious. <laughs> I'm telling you. Um, so, what about your hobby and kids? Oh, that. I'm not married and have no kids. Not yet. Are you kidding me? Single and searching. <laughs> wow. Don't, don't tell me that my fellow guys are too blind to see the rare qualities in you. Or oh, is it all your fault? How? Yes, maybe you have been the one chasing them away by waiting for your Prince Charming, who is thinkingly rich. Oh, please. <laughs> Stop it. What would you like to eat? Nothing. I'm fine. Are you sure? I'm good. Oh. What? Nothing. You're a very good woman. And I like you a whole lot. Ellen, truth be told, I have not been able to get you off my mind since morning I met you. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, you are a superwoman <laughs> with rare attributes. Maxwell, tell me more lies. I like to hear them. I don't get it. Lies. How? Listen, I would suggest that you cut all this off and let's talk about things that are much more important and beneficial to both of us. All right? Yeah. Ah, do you know I, I was late to work today because of that unavoidable incident? Alan. Don't try to change the topic. She is beautiful, no doubt. Why did she smartly dodge a topic that was being discussed? Is it due to her experiences in the past? I know men will see her as a meal ticket. But I don't give a hoot about her money. She's all I want. I will go out of my way to make her mine. So I can brag differently that I have a beautiful rich babe. The only problem that is visible here is the disparities in our ages. She's older than me. He wants me. I saw it in his eyes. The reason I had to digress. But I need a man. What reaches without a man to call mine? Why has this singular thing I crave for eluded me? Is Maxwell the one? I don't want to make the same mistake I made with Richard. My life will get messier if I should allow what happened before repeat itself again. Oh, I will be a fool to let this one break my heart again. Richard used and dumped me and ran away with the bank's money. The reason I locked up and faced my job What is happening to us? I can't figure out what we seem not to be doing rightly. I seriously cannot wrap my head around it. Is it now a crime to be beautiful and well-to-do? 
my younger sister, the only sister I have, got married to a playboy who faked his identity just to have his way with her. He dumped her and ran away. Now she's back. Marish crashed. Why are we so unlucky? Um. Hello, hello, madam. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Maxwell. How is work? Work is fine. What about my boots? The reason I called. I just received first-hand information that the ship, I mean our ship carrying your goods, just left Scotland to Nigeria. So by the time it gets to the port, we are going to let you know so that you follow up with the due process. It's fine. And um, your boys, I mean those clearing and forwarding agents, please, they should be at their very best to avoid lapses. Okay, Mr. Maxwell. Ah. What is it? At least the goods will soon get to its final destination. Yes, and we sincerely apologize for the delay, please. It's okay. Your shipping line has always been the best. Thank you so much for your compliments, madam. Yeah, take care of yourself. Take care too, much. Yeah. Yeah, man. Hello, chairman. Good afternoon. It's not a problem at all. Yes, I'm just getting in now, so I'll just I'll log into my laptop, get the correct information, and then send it to you. Is that okay? Okay. Ciao, ciao. What a day. I am gradually losing my mind. I can't even think straight. I can't just do anything right these days. What is keeping me from getting married and having kids? I am fast approaching 42, yet no husband. I don't even have a steady relationship. Should I give Maxwell a chance? God, please, if it is my sin, please, Lord, forgive me of all my wrongs. is not just a banker but also a model and a brand ambassador I mean, how, how does she cope 
and she never mentioned this area of her life to me. Tell me that you're not just a banker, but equally a model and an ambassador to a brand. <laughs> that came out so seriously. Come on, it's not that serious. Besides, you can't know everything about me in just a day. We only just met. <laughs> My baby is a big girl. Ah, <laughs> don't be like that now. Stop. Someone is shy. Stop, I'm not shy. Don't do that. Don't go, go away. Don't, don't do what? You know I am going nowhere. You know that, right? Stop, stop it. Don't do that. I should not do what? What you're doing? I mean, <laughs> don't be I'm like that now. Mm -hmm. I like that. You, you have to stop. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, where are you on this time? Oh, I'm yeah. searching for love. I went through a lot, but now. I look at you, and I thank God for making our paths to cross that morning. You're just an angel. With this sugar coated thong. He lured me into bed. I should have resisted him, but I was carried away by fantasies. I'm just scared for the worst to come. Babe. Yeah. What is it? Are, are you okay? Come on. You don't have to blame yourself for what happened, okay? I am here for you all the way. I am not going anywhere. In fact, I love you more than life itself. Trust me, you have nothing to worry about. I'm just scared for the worst to come. Babe. Talk to me now. You have not said anything ever since we finished making out. I know you are very scared right now. I know. You must be thinking that all men are the same. Trust me, they are not. Maxwell is different. Who is he? Are you in there? Do you need help with anything? Oh my goodness. Oh. Maxwell. Max, baby.
What does this even... <gasps> Goodbye. Maxwell is gone. Oh my goodness. Maxwell is gone. Uh, so he... He took what he wanted and then he left. As usual. As usual. This is what they always do. They are all the same. I was thinking Maxwell is different. What is all this? So Maxwell did all this just to have his way with me. You know, the annoying thing about all these men is the way they lie. I do not always have to lie. Why do you people Tell lie? All of you go to hell fire. Tell me what I'm saying. Yes, I had his way with me. It's not reality. It's good. Someone tell me that I'm dreaming. And I'm begging someone. Please wake me up. Why me? Why me? Yes, please, manager. I'm yet to see the young man that you sent to my house. Well, if he had left us at the time that I got your message, then he ought to have been here by now. Um, I'll have to call you back. There's someone at my door. That may be him. Thank you. Ah, where are you on this time? I'm searching for love. I went through a lot, but now, thank God I found you. Give me a love, you, and I give you a love, me. Good morning. Ma, I'm sorry, my name is Jason. I'm the plumber guy from Omega Utility Company. Oh, that, yes. So, what kept you so long? Oh, sorry, my house, traffic. Oh, yeah. Shall we? Yeah, sure. I'll show you to the kitchen this way. Please. This way. Um, yeah. So my sink is not um, flushing through and it's leaking at the same time. Oh, okay. I'd like you to take a good look at it and then fix it for me. Okay. It's, it's leaking. It's, that's, it's dropping water. Yes, but then it's still not flushing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I see. That's why you have the bath inside. Yes. yes. It's fine. Man. I'll be in the living room while okay. you do All right. Thank you. He's so handsome. I wish he would be mine. wanted to see how the work is going. Oh, it's, it's going on well. I'm, okay. I'm all, almost done with it. Oh, okay. Do, do you mind if I stay here and watch you? I, I like the way you're fixing it. Oh, it's up to you, Mike, if you want to stay. Okay, I'm, I'm here. I, I hope you don't mind. <laughs>
Okay, it's done. That was quick. Is that work? Okay, I'll be in the living room. Okay, okay. Yes. Everything is functioning well now. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's just a little blockage in the pipe, but it's fixed. So you're supposed to append your signature to show that everything is working well. Yeah. Jason, why are you being very official with me? I'm sorry, but that's... That's the way we walk. Jason, I know that what I want to say will sound weird, but that's the truth. I can't seem to get a grip of myself. I like you a lot. A whole lot. Thank you for liking me, ma. Please, can, can, can you help me append this signature? Okay. You can, please. Your phone number. Please. Okay, ma. I'll Have call you. Okay, ma. Have Don't cut this whole mama thing off. My name is Ellen. Call me by my name. Okay, Ellen. Have a nice day, ma. Have a nice day, too. practically all over me. I got that signal. But it could be a setup. It could be my company put her up to this to test me. But I'm happy I maintained a professional conduct back there. I don't want to lose my job. But what if she really wants me? What if nobody put her up to this? Can Bobby this one? Hello. Hello. How are you? My my day was fine. And yours? I'm watching. Football. Okay, let me quickly ask. Have you eaten something this night? Yes, I have. Um, so tell me, what did you eat? I ate beans and plantain. That is sumptuous. You see, um, Jason, I have been struggling to calm myself down. Why? You, of course. Me? How? Ever since I saw you yesterday, I have not been able to get you off my mind. Well, I really, I really don't know what to say. I know I shouldn't be saying this because 
because this is Africa. But the truth of the whole thing is that I cannot just allow the man I love slip off my finger because of our cultural beliefs. I'm sorry, please, why, why are you telling me this? Yes, yes, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. J just that I'm overwhelmed with what, what you're telling me. Why are you overwhelmed, my love? I am speaking to you from the depth of my heart. Okay. Can I... Can I think about this and, and call you... Maybe tomorrow? Please, can I, can we talk about it, maybe tomorrow, let me just give it a thought, bye. I now believe that nobody put her up to this, she is just expressing herself as a mature woman that she is. I like her maturity, no doubt. But can I give her what she wants? I have never dated a girl as big as Ellen. And I know I don't have what it takes to satisfy her demands. How am I going to handle this? How? Tell me. Tell me that I'm dreaming Tell me what I'm seeing It's not reality Someone Tell me that I'm dreaming And I'm begging someone Please wake me up My very handsome neighbor the special gift God gave me in this yard. Good morning. Jason. I'm just um, like what, what, you now, uh, eh? Isn't that a crime for a girl to crush on, on her neighbor? Uh, yes, it's a crime. It's a crime. I've told you to stop this thing. Is it because you don't have nothing doing? You don't know in the morning you go to work. In the evening you come back and sleep. Um, Jason, I'm not stopping you from going to work. All I demand is that you reciprocate my love. Uh -uh. Please, can you stop this rubbish? Stop this nonsense that you always say. I've, I've told you these times without number. This thing you're looking for, you will never find it. Oh, stop being unnecessarily rude and arrogant. What is it, safe? Okay, I'm not rude, okay? You look beautiful, no doubt. Uh, but it's not for you and I. Go outside and look for whoever. Not me and you, okay? Jesus, Am I still rude? Why are you doing this to me? I... Uh, uh, give me! Uh, because you're not working, you're not... Very busy girl that is doing nothing. Don't know someone will go to work. I do not even see myself as good looking. What is it they see in me that they cannot allow me a moment of rest? I am a man and I should be allowed to go for what I want. Why are they the ones forcing themselves on me? The same thing happened to my other brother Charles. He allowed his handsomeness get into his head and girls messed him up completely. Now he is married to a girl he doesn't even love or feel anything for because he allowed what he should have avoided. Now Grace got pregnant for him and her people forced her on my brother. I can see history is about repeating.
guy. Uh, How far now? What do you they tell me for food? Eh? Eh? Alright. I'm all ears. Start talking. Nothing really. Now, based on what you they tell me now, say you get your girlfriend with see my picture, say you like me. I know they. I know they're interested for that kind of thing. Okay? What are they think of now? Pass anything relationship. Anything say relationship, this and that. For all these girls, I know just need that. Because the one way you carry me, put inside. What happen? Uh, so no, they bother my life. They come and say, make you give her my number. I don't give anybody my number. I no want. Guy, okay, why you de why you de bother yourself? Eh? Why you de worry? See, man, I tell you now, fine boy. Why you go de worry yourself? Guy, no be worry myself, matter. Don't even go there. As I tell you now, I so you be. If my guy, no let me I use this kind of worry. What thing they tell you? Be say anybody will come around you, you, you shell them. Anybody so, will you shell them now? Nah? What oh be, nah, because of your former relationship now nah, you still they do this kind of thing. Former relationship, but you put me inside now. Nah. That one don't pass now. Nah. Yeah. That one nah, then it don't pass. Now nah, now nah, we they talk of anybody will come around you shell them. No nothing much. Eh? You go just now nah, now nah, because of this thing you just they bother yourself. Oga, okay. what I tell you? Be say don't give anybody my number. I know what. Forget that thing. Wait, ba, ba, ba man. Sir. I beg come. So you do the stress yourself over. You get um. You get one woman. Yeah. What is it? Uh -huh. Give me stout. I beg. Just I don't really want. Just give me water, I beg. I don't care. Uh -huh. You get you get one woman while I just meet sir. Woman. Yeah. How she be? Uh, why they do all this? <laughs> like, I was really surprised you came to work today. I don't get it. Did I tell you that I have resigned? Emphatically, you told me you were going to resign so you would quit time to nurture your newfound love. Yeah, I know I said that. But it's only going to happen when the young man says yes. Your crush is yet to accept? Mm. He hasn't accepted, but something in me tells me that he will. I just hope you're not going on a wild goose chase. My darling, I am too sophisticated to be ignored. Excuse me? <laughs> what makes you think the world evolves around you? Why did you snap at me? What is that for? Because I am telling you the truth. Okay, from what you told me, this guy in question is way younger than you are. So I think he's not going to give you what you want. What's your reason? Because he would think that since you're way richer than he is, you would want to assume head over him. <laughs> Don't get it twisted, my darling. Yeah, I understand the fact that I'm a highly placed lady in the society. I also understand that I have achieved great height, but that doesn't make me misplace marriage. In marriage, the man is the head of the home, while the woman on the other case is the neck that supports the head. That's how it is in marriage. So, what do you plan doing? My brother, the way things are going, you know, with the level of um, discussions we've, we've had, you know me, I like um, the fact that she's matured. It's, it's makes it uh, worth um, trying. So, yeah. <laughs> My friend is in love already. <laughs> ah. I don't know if it's to call it love. I don't know how I feel now, but um, I like I like how it's going so far. Since two days I met her, you know. Okay, no problem. But all I have to tell you is that you have to do everything fast before another person grabs her. Well, I just have to take things easy. If it's going to work out, it will work out. It doesn't. 
need you doing everything faster, doing everything slowly. Yeah. Yes, you are right. At least she's better off than this necker that is bothering her life every now and then. <laughs> so what makes you think so? Neck. That girl is very desperate. All she's fighting for now is for me to get her pregnant. And I'll end up like Charles, my brother. That's what we say every every day we go to the house, go set to fight. Is that the kind of life I, I, I want for myself? Charles told me. Charles was careless, you understand? Had it been Charles was careful, all these things would not have happened. You and I know. You understand? Doesn't be careless. Guy, if you start and you don't start and sometimes you go feel you scared. And that guy is very desperate. Even jokingly, she's always asking me, Guy, yeah, how do you think our our children will look like? That's Sometimes you show me one one uh, <laughs> young girl's picture. I say, yeah, see, our king will fine. Don't you think so? That's I, what she wants. That is and I don't need that for myself, I beg. I have waited for men. I have waited for men to love, cherish, and adore. And all I get are scumbags and criminals who are either coming for my body or my money. It baffles me that a lady as sophisticated as I am, with the level of wealth that I have, cannot find a man, one man, to call my own. I mean, when is a man going to come? Is it when I hit menopause? Are you done? Like, within you, you'd be feeling like you've made a point. If I expose you to all the angles of this argument, you would just find out or realize that you're just being very, very pathetic. Why would you say I'm pathetic? Jane, you have a child, so you don't know what it means for a lady of my age to be unmarried and without a child to call her own. Ellen, I understand completely what you have said and I know exactly how you feel. No, you don't, my sweetheart. You don't. I have been used by men. I have been used. All I have done is love them, care for them, given them my time, attention, and money, and all they've done is make me feel like I am the worst person on earth. I have given my best. Yet they, they make it look like my best is not good enough. Well, come to think of it, what is stopping you from getting pregnant and having a child? Having a child for who? For a monkey? You just talked about my daughter. Who is her father? No, I'm asking you who. I am everything to her. And that's just the way it's been and she's very okay with it. As we speak. My daughter is the senior prefect in federal government college where she schools. The fact that she doesn't have a father does not stop her from realizing her full potential in life. You know, some things are easier said than done. They're easier said than done, Jane. If I try to get pregnant out of wedlock, my family will disown me. Oh, Ellen, can you just take that mindset out of your head? I don't get it. You cater for yourself, you cater for your family. Right from the very first day I met you till date, you have been the one catering for yourself. So if you have a child, that would give your life a new meaning. You'd begin to have something to live for. Come on, girl. Everything is not about man, man, man. Forget about men and, I mean, and all women must not be married, you know. Please. Frustrate me. Thank God I made a good decision early now. Oh my goodness. 
I forgot. But don't worry. Alright, this evening I'll take you out and um, you just get ice cream of your choice. You are worried. Why? Because you forgot my ice cream and you don't forget things. It's, it's your aunt. Aunt Helen. What about her? Is she okay? I was talking to her and telling her to do something and I don't know why she's not um, willing to do it yet. Okay, oh, no. <sighs> me. Are we not okay together the way we are? Of course we are. I think she doesn't believe that we are okay together. Right? You will understand, my darling. So, go inside. Go get your mom a cup of water to drink. Hurry All up. Right, Take this back inside to you. Guy, okay. bring my slippers to me. Everything is functioning well now. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's just a little blockage in the pipe, but it's fixed. So you're supposed to append your signature to ensure that everything is working well. Yeah. Jason, why are you being very official with me? I'm sorry, but that's... That's the way we walk. Jason. I know that what I want to say will sound weird. But that's the truth. I can't seem to get a grip of myself. I like you a lot. A whole lot. Thank you for liking me, ma. Please, can you, can, can you help me append this signature? Okay. You can, please. Your phone number. There must be a reason to my seeing him before meeting him. And now that I've finally met him, why can't I have him? Neka. Yes, sir. Good evening. Good evening, Neka. Uh, what are you doing seated here? You should be in sleeping now. Why are you sitting here? Jason, when did you start keeping late nights? I was worried about your safety. I even tried calling you severally, but your number did not connect. Oh. I'm sorry. I I had I was out with, with a friend. But thanks for looking out for me anyway. Yes. Uh, so why you're just it's okay, thank you. At least I'm back now. Good You're night. Welcome.
just say. Uh... I said good night. It means you should go and sleep. Why well, I'll go and sleep. Just say. Uh... Won't you at least allow me into your apartment so I can make your dinner? Uh, there won't be need for that to make up. I already had enough. Okay? I had enough already, but thanks anyway. I said don't bother. Oh, what's the... Look, what's the meaning of this now? Go to your room. Look, look, I'm, I'm, I'm really tired. I, I just want to go inside, freshen up and sleep. I, I had a long day. I'll be fine. Look, you don't understand what I'm saying. You can't be here. Go to your apartment. I need to sleep. You might be chasing away an angel without you knowing. So who is the angel? See, Jason. Even if you don't want us to do anything due to the fact that we live in the same compound, can't I at least come into my neighbor's apartment and Relax. No, no, no. You, you can't do that. Okay? I know temptation when I see one. I don't want to hear that I, that I was caught pants down with my neighbor. Okay? Look, it's very simple. You have your apartment, I have mine. I didn't see you when I was paying for this place. I don't know why you, 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 you like bothering my life. Go to your apartment now. You have TV there. Whatever you want to watch here, you can watch it there. You regard me so low and it's not fair. You actually feel I'm a devil who must be avoided. Anyway, I did not recharge my decoder. I have a program to watch. I don't have time for this. I'm telling you to go to your house. Jesus, please, I can't leave you. Can't you see I'm trapped? I love you so much. Come, is it is it that you don't you don't listen? Is is your is your ear are they blocked? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jason. Please, 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 don't do this to me. I beg you. I beg you. Yes, baby. Uh, you said you were going to get back to me up till now you haven't. I've been busy lately. So what have you been busy doing exactly? Work. Uh, I see. Uh, there's somebody at my door, baby. You're going to have to give me a name to usher the person in and then call you back. Is that okay? Hold on! Okay. You! Yes. Me. You didn't tell me you were outside. Yes, a little surprise won't hurt, right? And how come my gate man didn't tell me you were here? Some days are like that. Welcome. It's good to see you. Thank you. So how have you been? Cold. Without you. I'm here now. <laughs> Welcome. Please have a seat. So I was cooking something when your cup came in. So why don't you just relax? Let me get back in the kitchen and tidy up so we can eat. It's fine. Okay. Come for me if you miss me. Where are you all this time? I'm searching for love. I went through a lot, but now, thank God I found you. Give me a love, you. And I give you a love, me. And together we will live happy ever after. I'm gonna have you the rest of my life, baby. Baby, you have won my heart. Oh, I'll love you the rest of my life. It's my promise to you that I will. I'll the rest of yeah. my life. I promise I'm gonna love you the rest of my life, baby. And treat you like a queen. Beauty to 
to behold. She's everything classy. Baby, food is ready. Mm. Let's eat. So, say a prayer for us. Bless food. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I didn't know you were a nice cook. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> but that's true. You're actually a good cook. Thank you. You're welcome. So, tell me about yourself. There's nothing to tell. I think there is. Because you had relationship in the past. You might talk about it. Jason. I don't want to talk about it. I see you want to hide it from me. No, not exactly. Okay, I'll tell. Listen, in the past I've... I've met quite a number of men. But I've never been lucky with any. The truth is, they either came for my body or my money. So there was a Patrick <laughs> with all the promises he came with. After he got what he wanted, he was gone with the wind. And then I met Richard, which I thought was going to be different from the other one. I didn't know he was a criminal. That young man defrauded me. 10.7 million naira. What? And boom, disappeared. She saved someone's name with a froster. Something must be really wrong. Froster. I don't know what you're thinking about. Are you losing interest in me already? No. Not at all. I'm just trying to digest what, what you've said, you know. But you haven't even heard anything. So after I nailed him and handed him over to the police, that was gone. And they came Maxwell. Maxwell promised to be a soothing bound. He used to say a lot of sweet things to me. <laughs> and then I fell for his sugar-coated tongue. And when he was done with what he wanted, he disappeared into thin air. Wow. I feel your pain. You know, all the men used and dumped me and I I sometimes feel like I'm cursed. No, don't say that. 
You are not cursed. As a matter of fact, those guys thought they played you. But on the real sense, they played themselves. You are gold. You are kind-hearted. Why would anyone even think of hurting you? Have you asked yourself why God keeps blessing you? It's because of your heart. So you're not cursed. They don't deserve you. You are valuable. Okay? Jason, you don't know what your words have done to me right now. I just want to thank you for everything that you have done. No, no, babe, don't do I... that. No, 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 no. I'm not God. Sit. Ow! My leg! Sorry. Ow! I... Searching for love I went through a lot to get down Thank God I found you You make me I love you And I give you all of me And together we will live Happy ever after And I'm gonna have the rest of my life Baby, you do you have anything like rub or never bone? Yes, I do. Taking the wardrobe. Oh, wardrobe. Uh, oh, my legs! But nothing is wrong with me. I only fixed the fall to lure him to my room. I pray I don't wake up from this dream. Oh, baby, where are you? My legs hurt. Ow! Ow! Baby! Sorry, baby. Uh, which, which leg is that again? This one. Okay. No, no, it started from this and now it's come here to so both of them. What is it, Baby, my uncle. My uncle Lord. Ow! 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 Oh. 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 oh, baby, don't stop. Ow! Ow! Not at home. Let it not be that this boy is inside there with another woman. Jason! 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 Uh -uh. 
Where could he have gone to this Saturday? He normally stays at home to clean and wash his house. Baby, mm -hmm. thank you so much. Thank you for what? For making me feel like a real woman. <laughs> I enjoyed every bit of you. You're the sweetest I've ever had. <laughs> Are you going to make me blush? <laughs> no, no, that's, that's the fact. I wish it would never end. If it's a dream, I don't want to wake up from it. Same here. I'm not going anywhere. I'll be always here for you. How come you did not tell me that you are not just a banker, but equally a model and an ambassador to a brand? <laughs> that came out so seriously. Come on, it's not that serious. Besides, you can't know everything about me in just a day. We only just met. <laughs> My baby is a big girl. Ah, don't be like that now. Stop. Someone is shy. Stop, here. I'm not shy. Don't do that. Don't go, go away. Don't, don't do what? You know I am going nowhere. You know that, right? Stop, stop it. Don't do that. I should not do what? What you're doing? I mean... You're not know, saying anything. These words that you say are the same words that Maxwell used on me. I didn't know it was all a ploy to, to, to have his way with me. And then when he was done, he left me without even thinking what was going to become of me. My love, what I'm telling you is from the depth of my heart. I am not whoever that toyed with your heart. I am here thanking God that I found you. I'm afraid to lose you. I'm here. to deserve this emotional blackmail from men. What is my crime exactly? I want to know. Even if I have committed any sin against you, can you not just forgive me? And give me one man. One man. Okay, have a man. Why? Why do they keep treating me the way they do? In this house, they will come, say sweet things to me, and leave me heartbroken. On this bed, they come and they lay. 
die with me. I believe me. Why? Now my show has come and has gone. Tell me, tell me that I'm dreaming. What? Why? Why? So why? 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 me Why? Why? me Why? me Why? me So lucky, why am I always crying? Oh, why me? Oh, why me? Why am I not so lucky? Why am I always crying? Oh, why me? Oh, why me? What's the essence of all this flamboyancy? I can't get a man to hire me. Of what use are all of this? I suffer depression because life has failed me. I have even failed myself. I'm tired of everything. There is nothing left for me in this life. Hence, I'm going to end this miserable life of mine today. Mama. I'm sorry. I know my death will break your heart. God, I have no right over my life, but I just have to do this. Goodbye, world. Please wake me up. Why me? Why me? What do you want to do to yourself? I am tired of being used by men. I want to die. No, stop this. Please. Did you think of what will happen to Mama if you should do this? Did you consider what people would tag our family if this should get out? I don't care No, you anymore. need to care. I don't care. Please, people can think what they want. They can say what they want. I don't care anymore. Sister, please. Mama will die of heartbreak. Please. You need to stop this. Do you know the emotional damage and trauma that I go through in the hands of men? Please. You know. I understand. You know. The same thing. I haven't left my marriage. But never for once did I consider suicide. Why would I kill myself? What for? What transpired between Ajika and I did not break me. It made me stronger. You need to stop this. Please! I trust you! Please! Please! Just stop. Please. Please. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, please. You get through this, okay? Believe me. Alright? It's not worth taking your life. It's not worth it, please. It's okay. It's okay, stop crying, alright? You really went through a lot in the hands of men. 
The reason I decided to lock up and just be myself until I met you. And I'm glad I met you. Don't leave me. I'm not going anywhere. I wish your words are true. <laughs> I wish you really mean the things that you say. I wish you're just going to be different from the rest and not use me and dump me again. Well, let me not say much. I'm not going to say much to prove myself. I believe I can, so... Better than, you know. I love you. I love you too. I said I love you. I said I love you. No, so. I love you more. <laughs> I love you No, more. I love you more. Back yet. Why must it be today of all this that I made a delicious meal for us to enjoy this weekend together? There is nowhere to be found. He has to come back. I'm dying to see him. So that's especially what. Hello, Neka. Hello, handsome. Yeah. What's up? I'm fine. You went out? Yes. Where did you go to? I went to see my baby. Baby? Which baby? Hey, Jason, why are you lying? You and I know there's no baby anywhere. As a matter of fact, you're a workaholic. The more reason I want to be the girl in your life. Why are you lying to me? I'm like a please, I don't have time for this now. Jason, what happened to all my advances towards you? Am I not good enough? You didn't hear what I said. I said I don't have time for this. I'm with my baby. You heard me clearly. Jason, wait, wait, wait. Hello? He hung up on me. What is it? It's a neck a, a, a girl from my from my compound. Oh. Yeah. Is that her? Yes. Both of you have quite a connection, you know. Are you sleeping with her? Are you being serious now? Sleep with my neighbor? Ha. Other people may do that, but me, I don't believe in having such zeal to, to, to do such a thing. I mean, there are other people out there. Why would you settle down with us or have a relationship with your neighbor? I wasn't going to ask you about her, but now that you've started to talk about her on your own, you have to finish it. So tell me, what else are you doing with her? Why are you asking me this? What do you mean, what else am I doing with her? Because I you, just told you she's my neighbor and, and that's it. Because you men lie a lot. I mean, you say one thing, you mean the other, you know? Wait, so you think I'm lying to you? Well, that is very actually bad for you to think. That is really, really not fair. I'm sorry. No, that's, that's bad. Babe, I'm sorry. Why? What's, what's the sorry. extent of having a relationship when there is no trust? Everything you told me about your past, I believe it. I didn't, I didn't say maybe you did something to okay. them or anything. I believe you. Why would I now tell you that you're not believing me? Okay, let, let's not pick up a fight. I'm sorry. I was just trying to pull your legs. Alright? I'm sorry. Are you not going to forgive your baby? Are you not going to forgive your baby? <laughs> Start. Forgive me, my love. <laughs> I love you, baby. 
Mm-hmm. Let's finish up what was started. Finish what? Oh, yeah. He doesn't want to come back. Let me enjoy my food. Baby, what are you trying to do? Don't do it. I have got the daughter. Thank you, baby. So, this is where managing. Hmm? Mwah. It's a nice company. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you. That neck. Oh yes, that's a neck. Why is she eating outside? Waiting for you, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Baby. Hello. Hello. It's a beautiful place you have here. Thank you. Please make yourself comfortable. Thank you. You're welcome. So, what would you care for? Let me get you something. I'm okay. No, nope. you can't come to my house and not take anything. Babe, I'm okay. I'm okay for now. No, I insist. Even if it's soft drink, water, just anything. Just. Okay, of course, no. it's the first time I've come into my house. Okay, it's not like I'm not going to take something. I'm going to do it later. Remember, we had a lot to eat and drink at my place. So I'm going to do that later. You come here. was that for? Baby. My love. Who is she? Where, where does she come from? Wait. Wait. How come I've never seen her? That lady looks like a sophisticated lady of class. Her type will not condescend so low as to have anything to do with the plumber. What's she doing with Jason? Wait. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. How she's not Jason's sugar mommy? Eh? Hey! I will not allow her to have him. Jason is mine and I must have him. Say, so my brother was living a promiscuous life back then. And that made him get one of the girls pregnant. Mm. I'd like to hear that. So he got um, one of his cheeks pregnant, which he was, you know, he denied vehemently that he wasn't the one, you know, but after threatening him, like the family of the girl was just 
threatened him to, you know, say the truth. And that was it. He accepted. He had no choice than to accept that, yeah, he actually did it. It's almost 8 p.m. and this lady is still here. Is she planning to sleep here or what? Why will it be today of all this that I plan to go all out with Justin that this witch showed up? But he was responsible. Yeah, he was responsible. So what happened next? Oh, they got they threatened him with um, deity. Yeah, they said they were going to bring the take his name to the shrine, the girl's village, you know, and they are going to bring the deity to his doorstep. My brother just said, "Wow, that you guys don't need to do that. That yes, he's going to take responsibility." for his actions. So yeah, he settled down with the woman he never have any feelings for. So what's his family like that? Of course, you already know what, what will happen because there was no love in the marriage. It's always constant fights, couple, quarreling and... And the baby? The babies. They had another kid after the first one. Has actually set of twin boys. She had set of twin boys. Wow. Twin? Okay. Do you have twin in your family or is it from the girl's lineage? Oh, sorry, I didn't tell you that part. I'm actually a twin. <sighs> You're a twin? Yes. So. After that happened, it actually taught me a lesson into planning my life and not be like my twin brother. Because right now he's regretting, which I'm advising him, it has happened. So you just have to embrace your family and live in peace. Yeah. That's like the major reason why I'm avoiding Neka's sexual advances towards me. You know, because... She comes to seduce you? Oh, yes. Severally. <laughs> She's crazy. Oh, wow. So, I... I want to marry out of love. Not... being forced into a relationship or, you know... into a marriage that I don't ever wish for. Jason. Our lives will make a good read if a good prose writer puts it in writing. You know, ever since we met, I haven't really been myself. Your thoughts are Always, always, you know, on my memory. The first time we met, I felt this connection that I said, with the way things are going, I'm, I'm hoping for a positive tomorrow with you. Jason. Months back, I would have taken my own life. Little did I know that the universe was, was putting together a package, a very handsome one at that, for me. And that package is you. Planning to sleep here. So what now? See, I, I, I can't be here and allow another lady to come and take what rightfully belongs to me.
Baby, I'm a happy woman. And that is because God has shown me so much love and mercy. He gave me a total, I mean, a complete package. And that package is you. Well, we didn't find ourselves. Love did. And I'm grateful to God that it happened like this. I'm grateful. Baby, I want to do something. Something that is laid in my heart to do. And I don't want you to say no. What is it? Charles. What about Charles? I want to give his life a lift. What do you mean? I've decided to give him a check of three million to boost his business. At least he can pick up from there. Oh, baby, but... You don't even know him. Oh, I know his twin brother. Well, he's my love. Babe, every day we pray for our destiny help us to locate us. I want to help them. I want us to visit them tomorrow after service. Don't say no. Babe, I, I don't want to be a burden to you. You're not a burden to me. No, my love. Thank you. You see, I keep thinking why would a normal human being miss someone like you? You are kind. You are compassionate. You are loving. Those people actually don't know what they have missed. thinking aside working with Omega Utility Management Company, what else do you think you can do? Um, well, I'm like the engine room of that company. Um, I know any time I decide to leave, they'll be heavily affected. But you cannot continue to rely on the salary. They pay you to raise a family. I mean, you need something much more solid than the salary. Okay, have you thought of establishing your own utility company? Yeah. I've thought about that, but I don't have the funds to, to make that happen. The reason I've been playing pool all my life to know if I'll hit jackpot one day. <laughs> the same jackpot millions of pool players have been waiting for. Waiting for pool is like waiting all your life for nothing. Mm, that's not the way to raise money. I just want you to start up something very lucrative for yourself. Baby, you will not only leave that company now. You're going to establish something very good for yourself. In fact, you're not going to establish the exact thing you've been doing. So you don't get to be in competition with anybody. There are a lot of other things you can do and make a lot of money from it. And that's what you're going to do. Babe, I don't even know what to say. Say something, yes or no. Accept or decline. Accept. Good. Okay, so now. First things first is to move in with me. What? On her life? I will not allow her come from nowhere to risk away my crush. Never. I have to face her squarely and warn her to stay away from my Jason. Who's banging the door like that? I must be Neka. Is that how she disturbs you here? Baby, I told you she's crazy. The, the girl is just mad. I don't have rest of mine in this compound. Oh, oh, open the door for her. Just look at. Open the door. No. Baby, do it, please. Why? I, I don't have to. Baby, please, just open. 
marriage. Babe, just leave her together. When she talks. Baby, you open the door for her. She's going to pull the door. Oh. Just open. Let's know why she's banging on the door. Babe, it's better to leave this mad dog. Baby, when she's she tired, be, she will... She may need help. Just open the door. Let's know why she's knocking. What is it? What is it? Oh, here she is. Sugar mommy. So you're relaxed here as what? The woman of the house or what? Are you mad? What the hell is going Are you mad? I'm asking you. Are you mad? Are you mad? Spare me that. Come. It's, 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 it's like you're mentally unstable, right? You don't have sense. Really? So you're here sleeping with your sugar mommy. Why can't you date me? I am younger. Is it, is it that she's prettier than I am? Is it because she's fair and I'm dark skinned? I mean, I'm younger than she is! But Why you are not my me? choice! Is it because of her empty offer to lure you into moving in with her? Is it? Wait. Where is that coming from? Yes, I also know she promised to set you up in a lucrative business or company. I know that. I know. It's clear. Is it? This fool has been in dropping. The more reason one shouldn't date his or her neighbor. Have you seen it? Grandma! Have you seen it? Sugar mommy! Girl? Leave my man alone! See, forget about whatever lies he would have told you. Of course, you know how men lie. We've made love everywhere in this house, including this place you're You are mad! You and who? Me and you! You what? are... See? Babe, don't, don't, don't even listen to this fool. She's obviously lying. Keep denying it. Are you mad? Keep denying it! After I've gotten two pregnancies with you, you think I, I would allow her come and take you like that? Jesus no Jesus Christ! I'll I, I slap this girl. Oh, please. I, are you mad? I bought, I, bought, I bought what for who? I know you will deny it now. Keep denying it. She will abandon you and go. Then you'll come back crawling to me as always. Is it not you again? Is it not you again? Old woman, I am talking and you chose to ignore me. As what? Shut up. How dare you? How dare you? You slap me. Yes, my you aunt, my aunt. not get your silly self out of here. You will not like what Hey, you do nothing. You do nothing. Oh, shut up. That is to reset your silly Wait, wait, wait. Is there no weapon in this house? Is there no weapon in this house? You cannot even have a weapon in this house. Oh, please, no. Hello. Oh, are you mad? Hello. Uh, very good evening to you, sir. Yes, I'm fine, absolutely. But there's a nuisance at the premises where I am. I would like your men to come and pick her up. Very good. Immediately. Very good. Come on. Yes. Siku, let me know. Let me know. Siku. Why are you running? Uh, the fool has taken off. Thank you very much, my very reliable friend. Thank you, sir. Baby, you see, see why I said we shouldn't open the door for her. You, you see, she, she's mad. Why are you looking at me like that? Don't tell me you believed what she said. That's a lie. I didn't do such a thing. See, you're very stupid to think you can silence me with all the police officers you've slept with. They will not see me to pick me up, and I'll come back to give you all the slaps to get me this. didn't even call any officers. Maybe she mimed that call to scare me away. I was just a fool. Why are they not fighting yet? I can't hear any noise coming from the inside. Everywhere seems to be cool. I say those lies in order to make her get angry and walk away from my Jason. But yet she is still there. What are those two doing behind the door? I'm sure they might be wrapped up in each other's arms in a romantic moment. Where will I hide my face if I ever lose Jason to a sugar mommy?
are the best thing that has ever happened to me. Really? Yeah. You are everything I want, everything I prayed for, everything I wished for. You are just a prayer answered. I love the way you love me. Thank you for loving me the way you do. Thank you for accepting me. You see, where I walk, they call me a workaholic because um, I'm always, always working. I barely have time for myself. Talk more of having time for relationship, having time for love. It's just me and my work. So I know they will be surprised to hear that. Why? I'm in a relationship now. Why? Why will they be? Because I'm always seen as a serious guy, not a guy talking love. Mm. <laughs> I have a confession, actually. Tell me. The day I came to work in your house, the day I came to fix your sink. First off, I, I want to thank you for having that courage and boldness to make that step because I was feeling like that as well, but I didn't have the courage to tell you. No way. Even on my way home, I thought about you all through. I love you, Jason. I love you more. Searching for love. I went through a lot of clouds. Thank God I found you. Give me a love you. And I give you a love me. And to get that be my Jason. Leg. I only know one person with that leg. Hey, police or police! 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 It was as if you barred my number. I called and called. It's not connected. Yeah, you don't do now. Nah. Uh, that's what I've been trying to tell you. Who's the paralyzed woman? Yeah? That's why you barred my home too. Don't do it. She's even the one for you. To the only woman that means the whole world to me. Oh yeah, I'm fine. How's your day going? I'm okay, I'm okay, babe. I'm just um, out here uh, with a friend. Oh, that's good. Say me hello to them. Nothing really, we're just here yeah, taking beer, you know. You didn't tell me you drink beer. Well, it's not like I drink all the time, it's just once in a while. It's okay. Still, say me hello to them. It's just a friend, babe, one friend, this, this big head here. He's actually the one that loves taking beer. Say me hi to him. I just wanted to let you know that I'm around, so I'm back home as soon as 
you can. Bye. <laughs> okay, you don't like picking beer, right? Oh, well, calm down. I'm now not you, the one that likes picking Now you teach me now. Now you always say me we go drink. <laughs> okay, let me teach you. <laughs> okay. So she now has the keys to Jason's house. I don't understand. What is happening? She now comes here at will. And that's exactly how she will keep running in this premises. Scallywag. She's older than me. But that lady get respect, die. If I tell her I'm shut up now, she will shut up. Even as, as she get money rich. If I tell her to sit here, don't go anywhere, don't go out, stay here, she will stay. Wait, as in, she greets you good morning. Good afternoon and good evening. You guys are the big deal, guys. I know it's not a big deal, but let me tell you. It's very difficult for you to find a lady, a very rich lady as, as that. Exactly. That will, that will respect you. Exactly. Now they try to because all this once the money enter their head, if you talk one, they don't talk ten. But this one doesn't want to know. So as it stands now, what I'm thinking of is marriage streets. I can't miss out. What? Yes, sir. Wait, wait. Don't tell me you are thinking of getting married to that lady. Instead of Sonia, who is way younger than her. Yeah, it'd be like say, it'd be like say you really hear what. I've told you this thing countless times that I don't want to have anything to do with Sonia. Why are you always talking of Sonia? Are you pushing me to marry who, who, who I don't love? Do you know what is called marriage? See, the kind of love that babe has for you can actually sustain your union. Why can't you give her a chance? At least, try her. Can you stop this for once? Eh? Do you want this good guy to uh, end up living with a cheap whore that you, you slept with? What? What did I just hear you say? Moreover, who told you that I've seen uh, Sonia's nakedness? Uh, uh, but it's true. Haven't you slept with her? Eh? Uh. Yeah, I beg. I don't get time for this thing when I did for you. Let me go and spend time with my woman. Paul, be no, Paul wait, I Paul. You don't have a I don't... You don't he never reach like that. No, 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 no. I may go spend time with my woman now. You don't, be, yeah. you don't see what you cost now. See, see, see. On, 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 on serious note, who told you that I've slept with uh, Sonia? Eh? Which one? You say, who tell me? You say, you don't sleep with... You, me, I never sleep with... I don't sleep with her too. And uh, that girl was mourning yesterday as if she lost her virginity that yesterday. <laughs> that one, uh, her usual, you know, that her usual no one, the way she did. That Hi. one, her uh, usual things. So forget about that one. <sighs> Babe? Baby. You okay? You're welcome. I didn't see Nick on my way in. Oh, that one. <laughs> she saw me driving into the compound and then she took off. <laughs> I forgot something in the car. I went out to pick it. The moment I stepped outside and she saw me, zoom, she took off again. Oh, babe, did, did anyone come here? Oh, I did. I mean, the crate of beer, who brought it? I brought them. When I called you, you, my darling, said that you were out drinking beer with the boys. So I quickly dashed out of the house to go get some for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Baby, you can't be serious now. I'm serious. So henceforth, when you close from work, you come home as fast as your legs can carry you. If you're craving beer, you drink them at home. And yes, you can invite your friends over too. 
<laughs> I love you. I love you more. Thank you. What have I done? I haven't done anything. Why are you thanking me? Because you've been looking out for me. You, you gave my brother three million to start up a business and you've been so kind. Whatever I do, I do it for me. Because doing these things makes me happy. All right? To you, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Come on, <laughs> it's it's my birthday. Of course, it's your birthday. Oh, I didn't even remember. This is so gorgeous. Thank you, baby. Come here. <laughs> thank you so much. Come on, you don't need to thank me. This your birthday. <laughs> okay, quick one. You ah. have to cut your cake at the mention of your name. This is beautiful, baby. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so gorgeous. I love it. I'm glad you love it. Okay, so let's cut the cake. Okay. How about you put your hands on mine and then? Oh, okay. Well, it's your birthday. You're my man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> e. L. Mm -hmm. Another L. Mm -hmm. E. And N. N. That's Ellen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you, baby. Mm. I wish you more life. Mm. I wish you everything good in life. Baby. Oh my God, he wants to say it. I cannot wait. My life has taken a new turn ever since I met you. I love you more than you know. Why all these words? I've heard them more than a million times. Babe? Yes. I said I love you. I love you too. I love you even more. Mm. All I want is to be with you. And I promise I'm not to fail you. I love my cake. <laughs> Thank you. I love it, baby. So we're gonna eat a lot of cake. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call Jane. And I know she's going to kill me. <laughs> mm -hmm. So this is for Jane. Mm-hmm. And this is yours. No, I'll give her that one and take the other one. Hmm? I will see now. You know, Jane, you're eating some cake. You want to go and struggle this one. Okay. You're your own. Tell her that my man mm -hmm. bought me a birthday cake. Ruby, do you know I totally forgot that today is my birthday? This guy showed up with this cake. He showed up in grand style. He said sweet things to me. He really loves you. This is pure love, honestly. Why hasn't he proposed? Hmm? Oh, mm. let me get something to pack up the cake. Who's that?
You? Yes, me. Who is your love? I I'm sorry for everything. You are? Yeah, yes, I am. <laughs> what exactly are you sorry for? See, Ellen, I... I'm here to make everything right. <laughs> he is here to make things right. What do you take me for? A fool? An idiot that you can use, dump, and then walk back into our life whenever you're ready? No. Please, I, I, I just found out that I cannot live or do without you. Then die. Die and go to hell. Listen to me, young man. Today is the last day that you will show your ugly face in my premises. I don't want to see you one inch close to me. And then I'm sorry. Get out of my house. I'm sorry. Now. Please. Get your ugly self out of my house, my friend. Get out. Get out. Are you okay? What is the meaning of this nonsense? Good morning. What do you call this? I, I came around to see you. You came to see me? Or you came to obstruct me from going to work? Biba, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I thought this is the best and right time to get your attention. You will never ever get my attention. Not after what you did. Get your car out of my driveway. Babe, 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 please. I'm, I'm sorry. See, you, you have every right to be angry because I wronged you. Please, just, just give me a second chance or hear me out, please. You don't have anything to say to me. You left after getting what you wanted. Yeah, you left. You have the slightest idea what you made me go through? Do you? You left. <laughs> now you are coming back to your vomit as a dog to do what exactly? Please get out of my driveway. Babe, babe, please, please. L listen, you have every right to be mad at me. Yes, you, you can treat me whatever way you want, but please. All I ask for is a second chance. Please. Listen, young man, I'm getting in my car, and before I finish, make sure you disappear. Otherwise, you will not like what will come for you. Get out of my compound, and get that thing out of my driveway. Babe, 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 wait, please. Don't you? Babe, please now. Please, just, just hear me out first. Please, babe. Babe, babe. If you don't get that thing out of my driveway, I'm going to smash your car. Babe, just keep this. If I throw it up this time, just that you are free to walk away. Babe, okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me move it up. Babe. Babe, please. Babe, let me move your photo. Come on, I'm the You don't go go. Why are you being hostile to me? I gather that the neighbor here will soon get married and will leave the neighborhood. So I came to book ahead of time. Once he leaves, I move in. You are very stupid. You are very stupid to come here and remind me that I may have lost him. You're stupid. Rubbish. Let me understand something. 
Have you been targeting him all this while? Wait, what is that your name again? My name is Iboko. I'm wasting our bar. One. You see that Abisi? It will sting your eyes and sting your manhood if you fail to live here this minute. Rubbish. Anyway, I don't know what is your problem. Maybe I will just go to the landlord direct and uh, have business with. Don't even bother. Don't bother going to the landlord because you see you, you that I'm seeing here, you will never become a tenant in this house. Rubbish. Idiot. See, see, see his height. See, 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 see ben -ben leg. Wait, though. How did he even know that this, this boy is moving in with that witch? Is it not obvious that this woman is manipulating my man? Eh? Why is Jason so blind not to see? Baby, just the way you opined that they are going to run back. They have started coming back. You see, that's saying that you don't know what you have until you lose it. That's the case here. They lost a precious jewel. They had no idea the kind Ooh. of gift God gave to them, but they just allowed you to slip off their hands. Now they are back begging. To think that I tried to commit suicide just because of what that idiot did to me. If a soothsayer had told me that he will come back begging after what he did, I wouldn't have believed it. They had no idea you tried to commit your suicide. Baby. What is stopping us from getting married? That idiot came back to say all the rubbish he did because he found me single, unmarried. If we had gotten married, he wouldn't get the chance to say that. Married. Um, maybe you know the the problem with getting married right now is is finance. I I don't have money to fund a wedding. And you know, someone of your class. It's not just a random wedding, it's a talk of the town wedding. And I don't have such money to, to make that happen. Baby, why don't you just say it first? And then I can pick it up from there. Wait, 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 wait. Not tell me say they follow me, madam. Oh. Madam, do the enter now and see you they follow and for back. Oh, God. Just, just bring your voice down. I, want, I just want you to help me. What do you want me to do for you? Say, madam, don't tell you say me, you know they come close to our house again. Not me, for she's going to say me, you know they come close to our house again, oh, God. Calm down, calm down. Please, hold this. I, I need your help, okay? Oga, okay. let me say this money too much, you. But I go manage them. Thank you, sir. Eh, 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 eh. No, they thank me. I know be sir. No, poor sir. My name is Abada. 
they only have about that for this area. If you look from that beginning to this place, now maybe they only have about that for this place. Apart from you no know, Bada again. Okay. No, they saw me. Okay. No, this is me, sir. Come more, go inside. But now here you go stand, though. Go stand for here. No, no, no. no follow me, go inside, though. I don't want to lose my job. What is it? I heard noise. Madam, now that man, that man welcome this morning. Don't welcome beg you this morning. I hope you did not let him into my compound. Madam, that man, they ask they cry you. If they cry, they tell me, say, make a open and say, won't come apologize to you. Did you, or did you not let that man into my compound? Madam, you know, I said the man don't already accept his mistake. He don't know how he won't take come beg you. What's the name of that nonsense? Listen to me, if you let him into my compound, be rest assured that you're living with him. Madam, you know that I don't get hurt now. Eh, madam, you know that I don't get hurt. If I see person tears, they come down, Madam, I get my body, they do me. Eh, madam. Madam, how they go? Get out. Madam, I'm making go. So you have the nerves to come back here after I steadily warned you not to repeat your visit. What are you doing here? Don't, don't you dare call me baby. I am not your baby. Do not address me in that manner again. Please, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't know what came over me. I, I wasn't thinking straight. Please. Obviously. Do you have the slightest idea what you made me go through? You know how, how hurt I was that morning when I woke up and discovered that you were gone. You left me shattered and broken. And you come back here to say rubbish. Let me ask you a question now. If I had died, would you have returned to my corpse? I'm sorry. Abada. Madam. Open the gate and throw this fool out. Babe, 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 please. please don't, don't do this. I, I, I came back for all. Oga. Come they go. Respect yourself now. Make on the go. Baby, please. My, my conscience was pricking me. I couldn't live with the guilt. Please. Please forgive me. Please. I beg you. Listen. You know what is good for you. Don't you ever return to this premises again. Have I made myself clear? Please, my lord. But that's not the way. Don't please now, babe. Oga! Babe, babe, please. I Oga, come they go now. I go carry for my head, though. Okay, they go now. I'll try for you now. Come, they go now. Babe. Okay, I don't want to lose my work. Okay, come, they go now. Okay, go. Leave you, man, the low. Go. Uh -uh. Now, by four. Okay, okay. I will enjoy you. What's in? I want to say no one. They, 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 they disturb they disturb me. Eh? Come, man. Don't try me, oh. This leg, I just keep up for something else. I don't make a noise for you, oh. Uh -uh. Why did I do what I did? I used and dumped her only to discover that I cannot do without her. I've tried to move on, I mean move on with my life elsewhere. But I keep falling in and out of love ever since I dumped her. I do love this lady. I love her. Why, why did I leave? And to think she almost took her life for what I did to her. Babe, no, no, no. What? Come on. That's okay. That's okay. Come on. I'm tired. I'm tired. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you're tired? Mm. Mm. Do you know that you're so sweet? I can actually go on, on and on and on without getting tired. Ah, then you're not a human being. 
Who said so? Why did you say that? If sex is not food, rest. Yeah? Ah. Listen, baby. It is natural when you find someone you love. It will make you go on and on and on. Okay? Huh. What's him? Hmm? Listen. I'm tired. Please. Listen, let me tell you. I, I, I cannot settle for any woman who cannot satisfy my libido. Yes. I am so hot in bed. And I need a woman who is dripping hot in bed too. I, I, I don't have anything to say to you right now. See, Ellen, I've made money. And the next thing in my gender is to marry a hot woman who can satisfy me in bed. I mean, we can be having sex whenever we feel like. Why do you keep laying so much emphasis on sex? Do you have a problem with that? I mean, it's not like I have a problem with it, but you're sounding like it's the only important thing in a marriage, and it's not. So, what other things are important? Maybe there are other important things, like your in-laws, outlaws, the financial state of the, you know, the couple, child raising, and a lot, a lot of other things. Not just sex. Well, you might be right, you know. I am right. <laughs> Babe, I need my blouse I stop. Need stop. I need my blouse Come stop. On, baby. I, I told you that I love sex. <laughs> I mean, it helps me to ease off, relaxes the brain. Baby, we have had sex three times already and you're still clamoring for more. Who does that? Maxwell does that. Stop. Come on, baby. No, baby. give me my blouse. Let's do it I one want, more time. No. Come on. Babe, please, I, I, I need to catch some sleep. I have work in the morning. Please, can you give me my blouse now? Thank you. <sighs> Sex engine. Obviously, she can't satisfy my urge. It is good she's showing me the signs early enough in this relationship. She's not my type. I have to leave. I will continue to search until I find her. She's good though, but that is not enough. I have to do this. Ellen, I must do this. I'm sorry. By the time you wake up, I would be long gone.
what I did was unpardonable. Can she ever forgive me? Oh, my Aline, you added colors to my life. Indeed, life has been so empty without you, my love. You came into my life and spice it up with your laughter and good heart. But unfortunately, it was momentary. I left that morning and discovered how empty I was. I felt something left me. Within the short period of time I was with you. I felt butterflies in my stomach. I was foolish. I should have stayed with her. I should have stayed with the good woman God brought my way. Can I ever forget the good memories of my moments with you, Helen? Helen. Okay, so I really don't know what you came here to discuss with me after everything you did to my friend. Jay, I... I'm sorry. I didn't know what came over me. What came over you was your money. It got into your head. And that's why you just walked into my friend's life and left ASAP. You were thinking you are going to see somebody better. Right? And probably you didn't. Now you're back here. I mean, I don't even really know what men want in life. You actually left a good woman. And I'm still trying to come to terms with that. I, I admit I was foolish. I was. Well, I'm sorry. She can't take you back now. She called you a hit and run. Jane, but I'm back. I am back for real. I want to correct all my mistakes. It's too late. She has already counted you as one of those men. See, my friend is a good woman. Trust me. She's just unlucky with men. Please, can, can, you, can you help me to talk to her? I, I, I am willing to do anything to have her back. <laughs> Indeed. Someone that nearly killed herself if not for her sister who came to stay with her. That's how you would have killed my friend for nothing. She'd have been long dead and forgotten. Jane, Jane, please. You must help me talk to her. Honestly, I, I, I promise you I will never do anything to hurt her ever again. I suggest you move on with your life because she has moved on with hers. How do you mean? She's in love with someone else. And the way it's going, they will likely end up together. Who, who is he? His name is Jason. Jason. Do you know where he stays? Why do you ask? I suppose you're Jason. Yeah. And who are you? My name is Maxwell. Oh. Maxwell. The uh, Maxwell that treated earlier and so unfairly. Um, Jason. I came to ask you for a favor. Okay. Jason, I I want Ellen back. And the only way for me to achieve that is only if you can back off. Yes, I love her so much. Please, I want you to leave her for me. Okay. You want me to back off and leave Ellen for you because you suddenly realized that she loves her so much. Is that correct? Yes, I love her a lot. I'd say. Poor Maxwell. 
Listen, Jason, I, I am going to reward you handsomely. You are not going to lose both ends. Oh, you see. Uh, that's interesting. But what, what makes you think I'm um, the kind of man that we will be bought with money? Jason, what about helping you to get your own utility company? Oh, I, I see you. You know so much about me, huh? Think about it. Well, there is nothing to think about. See, normally I would have been very rude. You know, I would have done something that you will not expect. But, you see, every day is not... Um, it's not for trouble, so I will just try to sound uh, as respectful as I can be. Tell whoever that told you everything about me, or of course advised you to come to tell me or giving me something or doing that to leave early. Tell that person that he or she is mad. Even you listening, you're mad. To think that I will give up the woman I love for your stupidity and insensitivity. Do you even know who I am? Or because you see me, you see me, I'm living here. You think you can just buy me over with money. You tell me to leave the woman I love. Why didn't you treat her right when you had the time, when, when you had the opportunity? You treated her so unfairly. And now she found love. Now you're coming back to tell her to Like I said, I can't do that. Yeah, are you there now? You're just at the junction. Okay, you see me now. actions. I don't want to talk about Maxwell. But you need to give him an opportunity to right his wrongs. Do you not understand when I say that I don't want to talk about Maxwell? Girlfriend, you have to forgive him. Find a place in your heart and forgive him and accept him back. There is a Jason which I have already given my heart, soul, and body to. Why are you talking about people who are in my past? So why hasn't he proposed? He will. <laughs> when? So. Babe, you'll soon hit menopause. Girl, you just celebrated your 42nd birthday. And you know that women within that age range could hit menopause at any time. You are educated. And you do not expect me to tell you this because I know you know. This is reality. You're not getting any younger. Think about it. Forgive Maxwell and accept him back. Baby, you soon hit menopause. And you know that women within that age range could hit menopause at any time. Why are you looking at me as an enemy? You will not claim not to know that I am an easygoing person. See, the other day you came to our compound, I wasn't in a good mood. As a matter of fact, I was very angry that day. And that was why I reacted to you the way I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> See, I am finding it difficult to understand why you brought me out here. Let me tell you, I didn't go to your landlord again because I figured out that I not live in the same building with a toxic woman like you. Yes. How can you say a thing like that to me? I'm not toxic. So tell me, what are you doing here? 
Okay. I wanted to tell you that I have started making arrangements to enable you move into our compound. But that will be on, on the condition that... Keep your uh, condition. I am no longer interested. Thank you and have a nice day. Why would you say a thing like that to me? Am I really toxic? What is all this? Why is Jason not doing the right thing? If I let Maxwell go, the second time, will I not be doomed? Why has Jason... I thought he loved me. I thought he wanted to be with me. I don't want to believe that all of this is an illusion. Why is he not doing the right thing? I'm just tired of... My love. It was never an illusion. Jason! Please don't let Maxwell whisk me away again. I'm not going to be happy with him. It's you I want to be with. It is you that I love. I can never love another man the way I love you and... You hold the key to my happiness. Please, baby. I will not let him have you again. Not now. Not ever. Marry me. Marry me and be the center of my world. Baby, I will marry you. I will marry you and be a good wife to you. I will be submissive to you and I will love you just the way a woman should love her husband. You will be my king. You will be my crown. Yes, yes, I will marry you. Yes. Yes. Yes, Jason. I love you. I love you so much. I didn't know you were going to. Well, I wasn't... I wasn't planning to propose now. I was planning to do it on my birthday. But after Maxwell visited my place, I, I changed my mind. Maxwell was at your place? Yeah. <laughs> he came to threaten me to leave you for him. How did you know where you stay? I don't know. I, I thought you told him. No, I didn't. So how did he know my place then? Wait a minute. Jane! Yes! I'm sure Jane did. Because she's been mounting pressure on me, preaching all the gospel in the world for me to accept Maxwell back into my life. I went to her place. She didn't let me rest. That's all she was saying. Well, I'm not going to let any man take you away from me. Never. He lost. You know, at some point I felt like we have lost each other. 
my love, can you do me a favor? What's that? Can you let your people know I'll be coming to do the needful this weekend? Why the rush? Because I can't wait for you to be my son. Eh? It gladdens my heart to see the haste in you. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for the writing to be done, Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> you are so sweet. You're sweeter. To let him know we are coming. Okay, can we just take no. a little <laughs> this weekend? Okay. I have touched her in the most strategic areas with my words. You can now shoot your shot. It is needless. But why are you backing off? See, Maxwell, you are a better person for my friend Ellen. Unlike Jason, who is not ready to make any serious commitments yet. But he loves her too. How? I visited him and offered him money in six zeros. But he rejected the offer. I made another proposal to him to establish a utility firm for him so that he can leave Ellen. But he also bluntly refused that too. That guy is raving bonkers. He doesn't love my friend. All he just wants to achieve is waste her time. See Jane, I, I don't want to continue pushing because I blew everything out of proportion. I, I made her love me, but at the end, I took her love for granted. She doesn't love me anymore. But all of that can be fixed. You hold the key. I think Jason loves her. I can see that in his eyes. Is that what you think? I don't want to fight the fights. I'm not sure of victory. They are good together. Maybe I should just leave this town and then go far away and never come back again. I just wish I find a good woman like Ellen. Are you... See, the truth is, I don't like men who give up without a good fight. Anyway, Jane, thank you so much for all you've done for me. I so appreciate. I... I actually needed to do some transfer to you. I mean, I want to show appreciation. So please, can you kindly give me your account number? So that I mean? Appreciation for doing what exactly? For doing nothing. Jane, can I have your account detail? Let me be the judge to that. appreciate for all your love and care and what wait 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 you sent me two million naira Jane you even deserve more than that 
Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. You're a friend indeed. And please say me hi to your daughter. Sure, I will. Thank you. It's all right. God bless you. It's all right. Okay. I'll talk to you soon, okay? Thank you. Okay, bye. Mom. What do you mean? Am I not supposed to be in bed? What? Jane! I overslept! Oh, gracious Lord. I overslept. I... Oh. Okay, okay. She's gone back to school. She has? Mm hmm You didn't say she was leaving. Mm -hmm. But school resumed, you know. What? What's wrong? You look demoralized. Well, I'm worried. As usual. You don't understand. I need to mingle. Okay. So... What and who is stopping you from mingling? Listen, what I mean is that I need a man. A man I can call my own. Okay, long story short, I won't marry. I need a man that can marry me. Babe, the way you're going about this marriage, marriage thing, take it easy. Eh? I mean, let me ask you, is there anywhere in the Constitution where it is written that if you do not get married, you'll be prosecuted? Or is there somewhere in the Bible where you saw that if you don't get married or get yourself a man, you will go to hell? Huh? Come on now, you have to take it easy. Would you rather prefer to be married and sad? Or you choose to be single and very happy. Marriage is forever. Once you get in there, whatever you see, you take. 
Except you, of course, intend to rush in and rush out. How can you even be talking about rushing in and out at my age? How old am I? Am I a child? You're not understanding me, babe. You're getting this all wrong. What I'm saying is, do you want to jump at everything in trousers or shorts just because you want to be called a married woman? Calm down. All right, take it easy. If this marriage thing comes, fine. If it doesn't come, make here while the sun shines. Which is? Get yourself a child. Yes, just like me. Or better still, if you don't want to give birth to the child yourself, adopt. There are so many children out there looking for a home to call their own. And hey, you can afford it. Babe, what are you doing? Getting something to keep them up, please. Okay. Okay. Keep your mouth busy so your mouth will not see. <laughs> Thank you. So what's up with the fabrics you showed me? Did you get them? I did. Mm. Mm, but I'm here to discuss something more important. I know you would not like what I'm about to say, but I'll still say it anyway. If you know that I won't like it, why don't you want to say it? Don't say it. I don't want anything that will ruin my day. Madame has instructed. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll speak. Um, this is not new, right? It's something that we have already talked about. But the way things are going, I think it is still very important. I talk about it again okay what is it get jason to give your child what girl you heard me now this is not me asking you to get pregnant for a random guy but I am asking you to get pregnant for the man you love. You don't even need to tell him that you're pregnant. You can raise your child. By adventure tomorrow, you do not have a husband or you don't get married. You would at least have someone that will mourn you when you're gone. Can you listen to yourself talk? If only you know the kind of family that I'm from, you won't even bother saying this. What are you saying? The last time I tried to have this conversation with you, right? You still made mention of your family. Family, family, family. Girl, your family will be extremely excited to know that you were pregnant. I have heard you. Hmm? And no thank you, I'm not thinking about it. When menopause hits you, only then will it dawn on you that marriage is a good thing, quite all right. But it's not an achievement for any woman. I'll eat the not. Think about it. I think it's coming at the right time. A fiance? And a baby? Oh. Father, thank you for the gift of a child. possibly ask God for. I'm sure Jason will be very excited to hear this news. Hi, my love. How are you this morning?
Yes, 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 yes. You are very smart and correct. I got good news. I'm not kidding you, baby. We are expecting. Well, I was feeling nausea this morning, so I kind of like sent the gate man to get me a test strip and I tested and it showed positive. We are expecting a child. Yes, you will, baby. It is. I'm an expectant mother. <laughs> oh my God. Yes, baby, I, I didn't need to go to the hospital. I just sent the man to get me a test strip and boom, the child is on the way. I love you so much, baby. Yeah. Really? Okay. This sounds like a plan. Okay, baby. I love you. Mm -hmm. My love, after paying your bride price this Sunday, we'll do the proper celebration where we have to invite family and friends next week. However you choose, I go with you. Anywhere you day, I could do do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's okay, baby. Baby, mm -hmm. I will love, cherish, and adore you all the days of my life on earth. Mm -hmm. For you have honored me. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> you know, sometimes I feel our meeting was ordained by God. Yes. I it keep was. thinking how everything started. <laughs> <laughs> it was indeed. Yeah. So how do you want, um, you know, we have to... Um, okay. I was thinking about the food, the, you know... I think we should just let the women handle the one for the village um, um, people and then for the visitors that were bringing from the city then we can find a caterer yes. you know yes that can do like a little thing. Hello, sweet. What are you doing here? I came to see you. You came to see who? You came to see who? I'm asking you. Please, please, please. Bring down your voice. Don't create unnecessary scenario here. Okay? Eh? Open the door, let's go inside. Open the door to go which inside? It's like, it's like you're mad. Wait, so this is because of that woman? That old cargo, right? You must, you must be very stupid. You must be very, very stupid. You, you're, you're, you're young cargo, right? Leave my life alone. I have a fiancé. As a matter of fact, I am getting married very soon. Which fiancé? Wait. That's sugar mommy. That's old cargo. Let me ask you, can she ever give you a child? A fucking mercy. If I leave, leave, leave. Don't just get out of here. Don't let me create unnecessary scene like you said. Just leave. Don't tell me you are getting married to that old cargo. No, no, no. Say, don't tell you. I'm telling you already. You're telling me I should not tell Listen, you. Listen, you are more than this for crying out loud. What do you mean? How? Leave my compound now. Leave my compound. Jesse, you Come on, actually... get out of here. Yeah, sure. like you stop? Yeah. Jesse, <laughs> this is not over yet. It's not over. Hey, <laughs> well, I know they finish. <laughs> This one is another one. Jason! You see your life? Hey, hey! You see your life? Woman rapper! Where's your grammar? Where's the grammar? You 
senseless man. See fresh blood. Carry fresh blood. You say you don't want. You want grandma. Where did this one even come out from? I've never seen her. Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> You know you're going to explain what happened yesterday. <sighs> there is no way you will tell me you slept your 9 a.m. Babe, I just... Babe, wait, 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 wait. What's going on? We're in lockdown, baby. <laughs> oh my goodness. You proposed. Who? Maxwell is back. Jason proposed. Oh my, this is good news. Oh, I, yeah. tap, I tap, I tap, oh, I tap, yeah. I tap, I tap, I tap, I <laughs> tap. He proposed two days ago after I confirmed that I was already two weeks gone. Hey, what is your problem? I am looking for that old cargo that lives here. And I'm going to mess her up today. Go, 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 go back, go back, go, go back before I enjoy you. What did they worry you? You, you, you chose you where? You know where? Where did they call Okago? Now you know where. You didn't hear me? Now you be the best way know where. Nonsense. If I, if I beat, if I beat you, eh? What, what, what can you do? If I beat you. Look at him. If I beat you, eh? Can you get on this house and say, oh, son, son, never day. If now it's on day. What can you do? Come and close the gates now, let me see. I will beat you. Come and close it. I will beat you. Come and close it, let me see. I will beat you. You too. I'll use this life for you. Oh, come, come, come on, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> I don't even know how to contain my joy. Like, oh my, oh, right? This is good news, baby. This is good news. Oh my God, yeah. Oh, so beautiful. Yes, it is. Oh my God. <laughs> I'll beat you. Come on, it. Let me I'll see. I'll beat you. Beat you. I'll use this life for you. Oh, come, 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 nice. come on. Oh, it's not. People yeah. are screaming. I'll be back. Okay. Abada. Oh, but what's going on there? You see, see this place where they don't chop and finish. This girl come there, they told me saying they look for one old waiting for this house, madam. Open the gate. Who are we talking? For this one, madam. Ma, open them. Come get, on, open this gate, you, you get, lousy you get security locked. idiot. You get locked. How come, come on? You get, I don't be security, yeah. I'm the chief officer. See the face of a boyfriend snatcher. Lady, what can I do for you? I've come to warn you to leave my boyfriend alone. Else, you will not like what I'll do to you and that thing in your room. Are you talking to me? Of course I am. Now, let me tell you. For the last time, leave my boyfriend alone. I am Sonia Wenke, if you don't know. I am the daughter of Ajumbe, the great native doctor. Hmm. If you don't, I pity what would happen to you. I can see that you have no home training whatsoever. That's why you can come to my premises to insult me. But today, I'm going to imbibe in you the home training that your mother never did. Hey, 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 hey. Leave my mother out of this. I hope you're hearing me. Never you mention my mother in this. Rubbish. You came to my premises to insult me. Who sent you? My father sent me, if you don't know. Now, let me tell you, you cannot intimidate me. Okay, so now let me tell you something, young lady. I'm going to show you that not your father or anyone else will rescue you from what is about to consume you. And I love that gate. Now, invoke your father to come here and rescue you. And I will show you that there's something mightier than the rickety, stupid native doctor of your father. You are gradually sinking into your debt. Let me tell you, I cannot watch you take what rightfully belongs to me. And you're here talking to me. Let me tell you what I would do to you. What would happen to you? 
Why are you disturbing yourself with this fool? Hmm? This girl. Hey, just... no! Who is a fool? Me or you both? Let me tell you, you guys are fools. You guys are all cargoes. You guys are nonsense. Oh. <coughs> Hello, babe. Are you done with your shopping? Hmm? Oh, yeah. There's a situation at home I would like to handle. And I want you to be here for me to do that. Babe, I want you to get here as fast as you can. I want to call the police to pick somebody up and I want you to be here. So please, can you come over here? I need you to be here while that happens. Okay. Madam, leave police. Is that all you can do? Madam, leave Is police. Is that all? On the case. Is that all? No, In the next 30 minutes, you'll see what will happen to you. Yeah. Rubbish. Mm. Look at them. Boyfriend snatchers. Ooh! Boyfriend snatchers. Old cargoes. Madam, give me. Rubbish. Give me, give me, give me. Calm down. Uh, hello, DPO, sir. Yes. Oh, I'm very well, sir. Only that I have an idiot who's constituting nuisance in my premises. I would like you to send some of your men over to come and pick her and lock her. Let's say hi. Thank you very much. Is that all? In five minutes? Is that all? Thank you, sir. Is that all? Is that all? I'm asking Go you. Go ahead and consume me. Is that all? Don't worry, just 30 minutes and you would see rubbish. Lock the gate, please. Look at that Look at that Look at that fool. All fools in this game. Give me that key. Hey. Let me only you. I have a Man the gates. Open which gate? Madam! If you hear me, come on, come hold on before I go open for Oga. Go open the gate, go open the gate. Oga won't come back. He she won't run, that's why Madam J won't come out. But then what's going on? Oga won't come back. Hold on, Madam. Open the gates for him. Rubbish! Is that all you can do? Can you do any other thing? Your father is not here to save you till now. Oh, you better call him because you need him right now. Is that all you can do? Open the gate. Is that all you can do? Get her! Get her! Oh, get her! Madam! She's locked. You let her go! If she runs today, tomorrow she knows if you run. Make sure you come back here tomorrow. Let me go home. Nah, eh? I tell Madam, give me, give me, give me commands. Make her give me this girl for this company. Don't give me commands. Nah, she don't run for what? Or the man run for what? Okay. Now one girl though, this girl come here, they intimidate me with him, Papa said, Papa have a list. They intimidate me and Madame for this house. But she cannot say she don't rock come up. I open them. Hey! You're right. I am wrong. I accept it. I accept the fact that I'm after one too. But Jane, you're a nice person. You're a woman I'm so proud of. And that is why I don't want to let you slip my fingers. Please. Please. I want you in my life. Hmm. I agree that every woman needs a man. You know, and when the desirable isn't available, the available becomes the desirable. I didn't just wake up one morning and take a decision not to get married. No. A lot happened. My daughter's father messed up with my life big time. My daughter has a product of rape. 
don't get me wrong. I'm not regretting the fact that I have my daughter. I want a good life for my child. I do not want her being raped just the way that I was. You know, that is why I tend to do friends with benefits. It's not as if it's the right thing to do, but I mean, and I also restrict male visitors from coming to my house. But you know me. I understand what responsibility means. That's the reason I do hotel, not my house. I have a daughter. The two can become siblings. Jane. Please. Accept my proposal. And I promise you, there will never be any partiality. Any day you find out anything that makes you unhappy, do whatever you wish. Please, my love. Mom, please, accept him. I think what he's saying is true. Sandra. Yes, Mom. you that there will be no partiality. Don't baby me. Start talking already. Tell me everything that I need to know. Babe, look. You, you need to take a cheap pill and try not to be open here. Don't you dare. Why are you telling me to take a chill pill? Why? And what are all these women doing around you? First, it was Neka. Your neighbor. I shoved that aside. And now this silly, stupid Sonia of a girl who claims to be a daughter of a renowned native doctor threatening to kill myself and my unborn child. Babe, Do you have an explanation to that? Look, you don't, you don't have to be bothered about what Sonia is saying. She's just blabbing. Liar. Look, babe, I'm not lying. I'm telling you the truth. I don't have anything to do with Sonia. Sonia is just my colleague at the office. Ever since I started working there, she's been disturbing me for us to have something together, for us to have a relationship. And I call that off. It's just like Neka. I don't have anything to do with them. She's lucky she escaped. I would have thought her a lesson of her life. So that next time, she will go out there and tell her other, oh, oh, other hey, folks. Hey, you don't need this. I know you to be a peaceful woman. You can't change who you are. You don't have to be stressing yourself over nothing. As far as I'm concerned, they are not important. If you, you're taken. This woman should just leave you for me. You are taken. They should leave you alone. They are not doing anything to me. And they are not taking me away from you. It's just for you to understand that fact. Okay? I don't want to lose you. Hmm? You should just pay deaf attention to that. Alright? I was upset. She came to my house. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, check the things I got. Yeah, yeah. 
love you. This is beautiful. I love this one. It's vintage. I'm gonna 